Okay. Uh, so, after a couple weeks of playing Horizon 2 Forbidden West, I'm going back to this game to see how it holds up. This is going to be a little weird. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go new game plus. Let's see who's here. EJ, Ironhide, Flaming Gamer. What's up? Ooh, loading screens. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. All right, let's see, what do I have? He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? Hey, Jordan. What's up? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some oh, your pop's better? That's recently. good. That's good. I'm glad. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Kars to visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. <sighs> and I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right. Uh, my weekend was good. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. Went to the mall, had a nice dinner at California Pizza Kitchen. I got some candy at the candy store. The embrace. My whole life I've never gone beyond this valley. 
That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Uh, no calm out yet. Hey, Mark's here. Well, uh, let me know if you want to be on, uh, voice chat, then. Can I not loot that one? Okay, cool. Let me just do that real quick.
that. Okay. Go, go, there we go. Probably would be better if I look at a bigger screen when I'm trying to do this. Explosions and shouts from outside the embrace. I wonder what's going on. Is it me or does she sound a lot younger in this game? You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Which is weird because this is this is only supposed to be a year before Forbidden West. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. I mean, I guess realistically, yeah, she would sound younger, seeing as this was 2017. Five years ago. even so it's re it's really weird considering the actual like game timeline opening a gate for an outcast some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. So much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats Did I use Windows like faced. the computer? That carcass. I use Windows now. The tribe calls it a I have Windows 10. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're- I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Braves hunt this machine. They did. The kills we bastard theirs. And tomorrow they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. All right. An entire lodge. How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal 
I don't think it's possible to breed the machines. <laughs> You would have to use a cauldron to, like, pump out new machines. Huge. How do you defeat it? That will be for you to decide. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Okay. Fuck! Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Hey, Joseph. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. Ah, you're not late at all. In fact, I really just started. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth... How many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proven, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is what you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I'll see you at Mother's heart then. You will. Oh, thank you, Joseph. That means so much. Oh my, oh my god. Like, this. Stuff like this is gonna be the worst because I'm gonna go to a really high point and I'm gonna want to glide down so much. But I can't do that. Might regret this. Down. The other 
others haven't noticed. Are you kidding me? I don't think it hurt the sales. Like, it still sold well. Um. It did kill the conversation. You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help, whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me, it's my daughter Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Refreshing. I don't know why, but the combat feels a lot smoother here. saying Forbidden West improved the combat, which I think maybe it technically did. That must be Alana. Sounds like she's in trouble. I can't get down. Help! I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm playing on New Game Plus and, like, all my weapons are overpowered. Can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, if you don't like these games, then why are you here? I just want to thank you. <laughs> thank you. I thought those watchers were going to tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's Heart. Oh, no. 
Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. Happy 21. It only gets worse. <laughs> and then each year you just feel older and older. This trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Mother's cradle. The trail ends here. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. Red light means trouble. Check my inventory. Hold on. Let me check my skills actually. No golden fast travel.
There. Time to get that spear. Jeez, this I could go up there. Okay. Cool, see you, Joseph. I'm uh I I'm streaming uh Wednesday on Twitch though. I'm not streaming tomorrow. Gotcha. It's a well-made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it back. I guess the, the one thing that the one thing that Forbidden West does have is um is the stash because it's really annoying how you like can't pick up items you have to just leave them there. I feel like both games have their strengths and weaknesses. Because... I saw some people saying that this game was unplayable after playing the second one. That's not true at all. In fact, that's a huge lie. Hello? 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 It's heavy. Well, it's going away. 
YOLO. Can you hear me? Hold on. Hold on. What's going on here? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What happened? I, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't hear you though. If you're talking, I I can't hear you. Oh. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Apparently, the stream could hear me, but you couldn't, and I was like, "Ah, oh, crap." Yeah. I learned today. I was today years old when I found out. Uh, don't enter a Zoom call when the mic's muted. And then even if you unmute it, it'll just fuck everything up. I'm are you sure that was you? Because like I swear that I can't hear you um like unless I make sure that I have the um it, it's like I have to make sure that I input the um headphones and voice meter like again and then finally I hear you. Like I have to do that every time or else I can't hear you. So I'm not sure if that's you know. or me. I don't know. I, I would I wouldn't put it past any type of program to be like, oh, your mic was muted and then you unmuted it. So like now everything's just fucked. Oh mother be praised. Aloy's back. With the anyway, hello. Hello. Alright, so now that you're here, you can read chat and then I can look at the first bigger screen. The Rana back to me I can now. read the it's chat here. for you. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. Hello, everyone. I'm glad you did. Me too. I see Liquid Ferret's not hey, drunk today. Good, here. good. Very good. Your mother knew how to craft them. Very, very good. Of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter. Very, very, very good. She did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Look at these facial animations. Sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your I think it's still good for 2017. Because of you, I still have the spear to Yeah, it's okay. You didn't have to help us. It's just a little did. stiffer. She would have admired that. Yeah. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. Oh, don't worry, Liquid Gamer. I have my water right here. Liquid Gamer? <laughs> Liquid Gamer. Did you just say Liquid Gamer? I said Flaming Gamer. You totally said Liquid Gamer. <laughs> I said Flaming... Hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I swear to God, you just said Liquid Gamer. <laughs> oh, I did! <laughs> See? I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not crazy when you say things. Damn it! I, I was probably no. I my brain meant to say, my brain said flaming gamer, but at but the simultaneously, yeah, simultaneously, my brain was still remembering liquid ferret. So I kind of just dragged that memory into the thing I was trying to say currently, and it mashed it up into liquid gamer. <laughs> liquid gamer. I'm sorry I extinguished you, flaming gamer, with liquid ferret. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully, the liquid that ferret is is more of like a. Like a like a it's light like, like a, a like a light a like lighter fluid. Liquid. <laughs> yeah, we could we could set you more aflame. Listen, I just took a really nice warm shower because I went out and mowed our tall ass grass ass backyard for like two hours. I guess everything's bigger up close. So. Victor's doing the rest right now. I was like, we'll split it half and half. And the part that he's doing isn't even all that uh, tall. It's tall, but not nearly as tall as the shit I had to do right now. I'm ready to do this. Yeah. See you back home in a few days. Hey, five dollars from Roxas. All, hey. <laughs> all live liquid gamer. All live the live. other reindeer. Take this too. Yeah. Yay, Jordan's Paps is better, or Pap, sorry, is Why better. Like we'll yeah. <laughs> Who in the world is Liquid Gamer? My alt dimension self. No. <laughs> yeah. Tribe, and I will always be an but I told 
told you I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. I also have the last of the chocolate Oreos. Nice. I have so, chocolate banana poppy, nerds, and warheads. Oh, that's some very that that's a that's a, a healthy meal right there. I'm glad that we're adults. Yeah. I like Oreos. <laughs> Are they the same nerds you were chewing on uh, last night? Yes. Good. Very good. Glad to have this then. Thank you. Remind me of you. Of everything you did. And how you were Yeah, it was very bizarre. For some reason last night I had a dream that I was doing an impression of Gilbert Gottfried. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's I was doing an impression to I think I was doing an impression to you. I think I was like trying to tell you like I was trying to you know how sometimes when people do impressions of other people, they have to they explain their speech patterns while doing the impression. Like that's what I was doing. Yeah. I'm not even I'm not don't even nobody asked me in the chat to even dare attempt an impression because I'm not gonna do it. I don't know how I did it in the in the dream. But that was really funny though. So yeah, the people who say that this game is unplayable after the second one, no. That's that's a lie. <laughs> you cannot go you simply can't go back to the first game because the second one's so much better. This, this game still feels really good to play. Make way, make way. Braves stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. Oh well, yeah, she doesn't have her her chosen one status yet. Everyone's just kinda like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah. You're just an outcast. Like, damn it guys, I've been fighting to get rid of that name all my life. Damn it. Come to observe the proving. It was called there's a little girl, and that's how I found my full kiss. But that's my problem. We will talk. And now I'm cool way. and everybody loves me. <laughs> Down the path to the right, you'll find an old That's how I found my Ford Focus. I don't know anyone here. Huh. <laughs> I drive it around everywhere. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? He says, My dad took me in at night every night, but then the one time he forgot, I got very angry. <laughs> I'm an outcast, but now everybody loves me. Yeah, that's probably what his origin story is. <laughs> Aloy, it's you, isn't it? No one took me yeah. seriously until I put on the voice. <laughs> now everybody takes me seriously. <laughs> Do you think he does that voice when he makes love to his, his beautiful girlfriend? I hope not. You were <laughs> when you saved me from a herd of machines. That'd be really funny. You tried to save me. I never forgot that day. <laughs> All these years, I hope to see you again. If you came to run in the proving. As you can see, it's a number top 15 sex moves. As a stitcher instead. Maker of garments and, and they do them one after another. Just a sex move. In preparation for this day, I have <laughs> an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost <laughs> nothing. Consider who's fucking punk? Who is he? Years ago. This is Teb. Oh, Teb. There. I looked at his his name. Like, oh. Thank you. He has weird hair. Is I do not like his hair. Never had anything like what this. what if I had that hairdo? I, I would say do not. <laughs> but, but he has a little blue thing in his hair. That that makes him cool. Yeah, that makes him cool. Some advantage. It's always I could put a little blue thing in my hair. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the matriarch's lodge if you want. Don't like his hair, peace. but you'll know it he's when cool. you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. 
Tirsa said something about He's a friend. Mom boys from another tribe. Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. He woke up with a hangover, and he got the he got the uh, Mike Tyson tattoo. <laughs> like in the Hangover Part Two. In any case, you ready to duck? Let's have some Oreo ASMR. Sisters Why do you have to go climbing houses? Listen carefully oh, now. Not supposed to go climbing out of people's See, this is why I need milk. So that way it can feel a little bit softer. Aloy, over here. Then it will be perfect. What are you doing here? Uh no. Just uh man up. I wasn't supposed to trade without Let it be let it be remember? tough and hard. How could I forget? Now so crazy. Talk to me now. Don't be like how, how come people you know I think it's kind of disgusting when people twist the top off and then lick the creaminess and if you need any last minute supplies uh, I'm your man I think it's weird I don't like it. it when people eat when people open up Oreos and eat the cream first no no when they lick the cream oh when they ju just licking it in general yeah that's weird that, yeah, that's why I'm would at. you lick it? Because it's so stuck on. It's not going to come off if you just lick it. I scrape it off with my teeth. I used to do that too as a kid. I don't do it anymore. I don't know. I just kind of grew out of it, I guess. But as a kid, I used to do that. I used to scrape it off. I, I would open them and then scrape them off. And I would still eat the, the cookie part, but it would just be like a little bit weird. Um. But yeah, then I started dunking my Oreos in the milk and it was so good. How do you eat your Oreo cookie? Do you just shove them in your fucking mouth like a like a Neanderthal? Sometimes I shove them in my mouth. Uh, I, I usually just like open them and then scrape the cream and then eat it. You carefully with a little knife take the take the cream off of all the cookies and stack the creams on top of each other. <laughs> Always happy to take your shards. I know just where you've come too far this time. I'm inviting you, bloodthirsty Karja, into our land. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, Sometimes I just shove them in my mouth because I'm eating mini Oreos. <laughs> that makes sense. I love mini Oreos. I usually just Come have many Oreos. Under a banner of peace. I, um, of the regular sized Oreos, I've started to switch over from regular white cream to chocolate cream. Those are the ones I'm eating right now. And, um, when it comes to the mini Oreos, because they don't make them in chocolate, they only have them in, as far as I've seen anyway, they only have them in the regular white cream than, uh, uh those ones. For, for mini Oreos. He's a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice. Just hey, like hey, don't, don't, don't. My own sister would take him. Don't, don't throw fruit. I hated the card. Throw the fruit. But the 13th king is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. If you could put face paint on that's inspired by this game, what would you do? Someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Um the message that this poor I would do um Well I like I like the Utaru ones the best. What do those look what, what do theirs look like? It's the ones that, that I have um in uh it's it's the, the spots uh under you know, under my eyes that, that I have in the second game. Okay. That's the one that I have in that. <clears throat> 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. 
Okay. I think it looks uh, it looks more elegant. Yeah. Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Ah. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Wait, no! Have to go. Whoa. <laughs> well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> Those fun guy. Hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's I like how Eloy keeps flickering out and spazzing yeah. out in the... She keeps going boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Why'd she do that? Uh, that She's really excited to be here. I guess he dug it up it's like that guy um, in that clip that I took where he was just bouncing up and down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all kinds of games have that. The Ratchet has it to where they can get stuck and go. <laughs> You've never seen Vanguard Steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. Yeah, it has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. With all that metal to slow you down, I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. <laughs> Before I pulls the change my name for a day and became the Liquid yeah. Beamer. Look, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> say this, but it's no one would get it but us. Along in this yeah. Backwater. <laughs> I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show Oreo you how to make it It'll be a whole new life if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections. Who here has I watched know. the Food Theory oh, episode on season. Oreo? Uh, yes. I don't think no. I've seen that one. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. That's a very interesting she watch. I highly recommend it. Of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Well, maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. <laughs> Anyway, I have to go. To it's all about the the scummy shit that Oreo's done to become one of the top highest beloved cookies across the world. Well, it's a very good cookie. It is. Um it, it, that episode has also made me want to uh, try the original ones that Oreos ripped off called the Hydrox. Hydrox. I feel like I've seen those. If you've seen them, just know that that is the very, very first cookie to look the way it does. Oreo oh. is the ripoff, technically. And that started, well, now I guess because I'm explaining it, that I'll just, this is what the episode's about. It's about how. Uh, it was two brothers who ran a company in like the early 1900s and uh one brother fell ill and the other one stayed you know he had to like be out for a while and the other brother was still in business with the company and they started taking the company in some sort of a different direction with their products or whatever so when the brother uh was back and ready the sick brother was ready to go back to work um he had left the direction they were they were going in and they had a huge ass disagreement about it so he started his own company and uh they made a particular they made the cookie they made the hydrox and it became really popular for a while there and then uh the other the other original company made made the oreo and then from there it's just all kinds of things that uh business practices that they did with oreo to basically put the hydrox under and it's it's really interesting. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? 
And for a good long while there, uh, the Hydrox cookies went, weren't being made anymore. But I, that episode says that ever since 2015, uh, some other company came around, uh, a company that I guess is known for bringing back older uh nostalgic types of you know like snacks and and brands and whatnot and they brought hydrox back so apparently they're still around to this day i just i haven't seen them i'd really like to try and get my hands on the pack and try them out and see how they taste because i've eaten some off-brand oreos before um they weren't hydrox though and not to say that hydrox are off-brand because they're they were the original yeah so now i'm interested <laughs> So every time I go to Vaughn's, I try to see if they're in the cookie aisle and I don't see them. So maybe Vaughn's just doesn't carry them. I'll have to check somewhere else. I did find them online. People are selling those cookies on eBay for like 40, 50 fucking dollars uh, a pack. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly? Which is bizarre. Huh. In a ruin north of the claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Everything down to even the Oreo name is a direct jab at Hydra. They taste like Oreos. The old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I don't know. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin. I mean, because even the off-branded Oreos, like the generic brand Oreos that I saw, that used to have, um, they tasted like Oreos. They tasted a little bit softer, like by default. The cookie part itself was like a little bit softer. Um, they were still good though. So I don't know. Maybe Hydrox tastes just like that. Someone to stop the yeah. priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander. Well, becoming kosher was one of the things, EJ. That was one of the things. But how and why they did that was also for very very competitive reasons earlier, you winced, then intentionally the competitive or frightened did your focus show very you pointed it didn't show me anything i told you it malfunctioned happens all the time mine's never malfunctioned and i've had it since i was a child so yours is in better shape then I'm yep sure that's that's what i was just explaining jenna it's also hello seeing how you nora are too scared to delve the ruins because they think ruins are cursed no ej i don't speak but french i, I, I don't speak any other language than english is a curse i'm inclined to agree she speaks a little bit of japanese no i don't i no don't don't tell people that because i don't <laughs> little tiny you can understand a little bit of it i don't understand we have this device in common barely you can't wait to stop talking to me I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try and enjoy... I love how they've never changed the design on the cookie. And it's very, very memorable. But then again, it's not original, because Hydrox had this pattern first. Like I said earlier, um, even down to the name Oreo is a direct jab at Hydrox. Wow. Um, so there's a the flower, the floral pattern, because if you look at the Oreos, they're little flower patterns. They took that from the floral patterns that were on the Hydrox cookies. The type of flower that was imprinted on the Hydrox cookie is a type of flower called Oreo Daphne. Uh. So they just took that first part. And it's really, really, uh, it's really interesting. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Oreo. Oreo. Oh, Oreo. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the retreat. You were, you were very present here. <sighs> Fucking stupid ass. <laughs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. 
Yeah, depending on where you guys live. And um, now that's a cherished memory. if your stores carry them or not, try and find Hydrox cookies next time you go grocery shopping. You'll be eating the original Oreo. You even try to dress like a real Nora. Hello, John. Not that it fools anyone. Uh, actually, dude, I'm dressed like a Karja. This is the Karja Blaze and Heavy Armor. You're an idiot. Not Mother's Heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proven. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. You are going to die. Everybody out there is going to die but me. Who the fuck is Bast? He's a fucker. But not a good one. He's a bastard. Yeah. I hate his hairstyle. I want to buzz his head on. Although I think it's Bast. So it's Bastard. Dude, he's a fucking bastard. He's a bastard. I'll show you tomorrow. Did you hear what Bast said to me today? Did you hear what Bast said? You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. I want to cut off his lips. Oh, are you shut your mouth? Oh. Be a surprise. <laughs> uh, took a little bit too far, dude. <laughs> I'd like to sew his nostrils shut. That should keep him quiet. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The Can I really just deck him in the face in a cutscene? But win it? That's down to Bost, you, uh, and me. I wish Vala. you could do that. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going Oh, to I thought she was wearing a beanie. Never celebrate a victory before it's <laughs> no. a little headband. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well Vala. when I run you into the So this is Varl's sister. <laughs> oh really? Right yeah. Okay. Thanks. Cool. How come she's not on the second one? Did she not because survive this she dies. game? Oh no! She dies during the proving, so now Vala and Varl are both gone. Oh no! So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? Oh no. You've never slept in a Nor Lodge before. Not very private. She does look younger too. Is this still supposed to be a year later between games? Yeah. Homey enough. It's so weird. It's like when uh it's like when Kevin was eight in the first one, then ten in the second. <laughs> yeah. Get some rest. <laughs> Did I say game in the first movie? Sorry. I don't know if I no, said game just, or movie. You just said first one, so I, I understood oh. what you meant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, my brain just quickly places words in my speech and then deletes them out of my memory immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that shit. <laughs> Why does my brain do that? Am I dying slowly? Yes. So am I. No! We have to live forever. How do we do it? Um, so we we do the same thing that the Zeniths do. Oh boy, we become little techno space alien humans. Yeah. Let's clone ourselves. Would you want to clone our perfect copy? Uh, neither. <laughs> do you want to be uh, six inches tall? Probably not. Do you want to be reincarnated as an actual fox? That would be cool. <laughs> but you Although, can talk. I'd only, I'd only live like eight years. Oh, no. <laughs> Ready yourselves. But if you kept coming back as a bigger fox. So by like, <laughs> by resurrection cycle three, you're like 20 feet tall. <laughs> And you were purple. And that was purple. Be nice. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what, what would I come back as? Um, a fucker. A fucker. Your trophy <laughs> is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. What the hell, you fucking shit brain? See ya, ferret. There. Shoot him in the butt. Mister, come on. Shoot the booty. I can, uh, I can come back as a, as a, as a little person, and then I, I can understand you. She was behind me. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. God, what is that noise? I hear that noise every day outside and I have no idea what it is. Uh, you know what? That I was wondering what that was too because I could hear it through the headphones. I don't know. I hear cut. it every day and I don't know what it is. It sounded like, for, well, from my end, I don't know what it sounded like to you since you can directly hear it, but I heard like. That's what it sounds like. It sounds what like some hell? weird machine bird. Machine bird. Like a glenhawk. Yeah, it's coming after you. It found you. Come on now. <laughs> Zip one. Gotta keep going. The outcast. Also, trail? Is she crazy? Boo. I'm scary. Good. I'm getting says so. Boo. Did I scare you? I hope so. This is gonna be close. Number fifteen. <laughs> Number fifteen, I'm scary. Number fifteen reasons why I'm scary. I mean, top 15. God damn it. See, I can't talk today. Number 15 reasons. 15 reasons. Number 20. Wait. <laughs> Number 74. I'm going to do the unthinkable and lick this cream off the Oreo. Okay, I did it once and it didn't feel good on my tongue, so I'm going to stop. Well, yeah, because, like, it, it's, it just... <laughs> You're just licking it, but it's doing nothing because it's too it's too thick to come off by licking. You get like just a tiny bit of the taste. Now it's all moist and I hate it. Yeah, it's weird. But if you scrape it off with your teeth, then you won't, it doesn't matter anymore. Come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. Here, let me scrape it off with my teeth. Hold on. Let's try that. Do you scrape up or down? Uh, down. Who the fuck scrapes up? She didn't win. No. The outcast cheated. Ooh. That's fairly pleasant. Never. Now I'm just gonna crunch right through the cookies. Brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first. We had to explain to my mom yesterday about Booger, B Booger, Burger King foot lettuce. Booger King. Booger King. And she was like, what the fuck? I'm like, yep. So did you notice that this is like exactly how... This is like exactly how the second game starts too. Everybody dies. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they won that person. 
Except it seems more violent in the second one. I mean, this one's pretty bad because you're getting shot with arrows, but people are like falling around and exploding and dying. I don't know. This is pretty bad because like it, it's fucking it's so random because like everybody's just, you know, an innocent like everybody's super innocent. Just standing around. The boss. <laughs> Can he get shot through the fucking eye with an arrow? <laughs> he's dead. Is he really? Pretty sure he's dead. I, like everybody dies except me. Oh my god. Avenge everyone except for Bost, because he's a bastard. But yeah, it's the same in both games. Like it starts with everybody dying. Yeah. Well, actually, ever like not everybody dies. Forbidden West, at least. I will teach you to blame. Not Gluteus, Fluteus. <laughs> no, he fucking eats it. Oh, God. I'm using the wrong ammo. That's why it feels weird. Gluteus Markamist. Top 15 tests in Horizon. Kill them all. No witnesses, no survivors. Don't give up. <laughs> oh no, there's more. They keep coming. How many are there? I love you're not questioning what that sound is. Uh, wait, what? Have you not been hearing that? No. I've just been paying to the attention to the sound effects of the game. Too many of them. Oh. I'm scraping the cookie with my teeth. Well, that shouldn't make much of a sound. Pretty loud. But if Chills was your doctor, I'd rather die. <laughs> Kill them! They're too strong. <clears throat> we can't stop them. You'd say, I'm gonna grab your balls, turn your head and cough. I'm Kill gonna grab invaders! your balls. I'd be like, no, you no you ain't. No, you ain't. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready, no, I'm ready. Simple. No, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> little fucking square guy. He, 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 he uh, squishes him into a square. He says, look here, Spongebob. The red hair dies now. Everyone, forward. Oh, and they just, they just died. <laughs> what if you said, you won't have much longer to live. Any last words? I'd be like, uh, help me. That's it, I'm all done with the Oreos. So sad. Mm. 
munch, munch, munch. Mm, so good. What you munching on? Chocolate banana pocky. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I, I meant like of the snacks, but I, I remember what you said you had. I was just wondering which one it was. You should put some pocky in your mouth and then you should put uh, some nerds in there at the same time. That's disgusting. <laughs> What if you discover a brand new flavor? What if it's really good? I don't think that would be a good flavor because this is chocolate banana and those are watermelon cherry. That is like completely different that you can't just like put like a chocolate kind of biscuit stick thing in with fruit candy. That's not really, that doesn't go together. <laughs> Is that Rusty Bucket Bay? Yes. Oh, he fucking died. He yes, ate shit. Bags is dead. No. She actually got her throat slashed. That's disgusting. Who's this fucking mask guy? I don't know. Does he have a power button on his head? It was this fucking Yiga clan from Breath of the Wild. Uh. Sorry, I did the thing. Breath of the I, Wild. I, well, not even that. I, I did the comparison. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Them. So that was one of the funny things that uh Whoa yeah I'll I'll help you by uh Oh okay now he's super dead. Yeah you got blown up. Sorry again again I'm behind a little bit so everyone was watching in real times because I'm hearing Miharu through my ears in real time, but uh what I'm seeing on the stream is um, delayed. You having flashbacks to little kid her? Oh, she is. One of the funny things from the CTR playthrough, and only plays is when they go, C CTR, what does that have to do with breathing or mouth to mouth? <laughs> really funny. What's up, Amani? Amani 2? 2.0? What the hell is happening? Uh, nightmares. Barnacles! Barnacles? That's that's the, the weird nightmare that Aaron said he had to remember. He's like, barnacles! <laughs> <laughs> You like how I called him Rosty Bucket Bay? Yeah. One of the most stressful fucking worlds in the first game in, in Banjo Kazooie. Is uh, Rosty Bucket Bay? <laughs> Is that like uh, uh, Ronty Industries? <laughs> Um, well, Gruntier Industries, I think, was just long and kind of tedious to get through, right? Why is no one here? Yes. There wasn't, there wasn't like an, there wasn't like a, a prolonged source of imminent danger throughout your travels through that place, right? If I remember right. No, but it's, it, it's very stupid to navigate, okay. and the enemies <laughs> suck. Well, that is the case too for Rusty Bucket Bay. However, um, it's the only other underwater world like uh, Clanker's Cavern, except Rusty Bucket Bay has oily water. Oil is in the water. So that means you can still swim in it. In fact, you have to swim in it, but your 
uh, breath meter will deplete faster, and it also depletes even when you're above the water. Oh, that's stupid. You can be in the water, paddling around, and you're not underwater, and you'll still lose your breath meter. So coming up to the surface for air is not going to work. You have to get out of the water and jump onto a platform, which there are a couple platforms in the water uh, that are put there for you to rest on, but there are Jinjos under there. You have to lift an anchor off a little fishy under there. You have to go within the boat. Um, and they want you to spend a lot of time underwater, and it's insanely stressful. It's I think it's more stressful than, than freeing Clanker. Because while that can be stressful, you don't have to be down there for too long. But like half of the level, a good chunk of... Because Rusty Bucket Bay is smaller than Clanker's Cavern. But like a good half the level, half of it takes place on the top. And the rest of everything is underwater. And it it's stressful as hell. That's dumb. <laughs> that sounds That's the like... Only... Uh... That sounds like if you merge together Grunty Industries and uh, Jolly Rogers the Loom. Yeah, exactly. It's the only level or world in general that's that's like that, though. Um, I wouldn't want that to discourage anyone from playing Banjo Kazooie if y'all, some of y'all in here haven't played it. I'd still recommend you play it because it's a good game. And I'd recommend you play Banjo Tooie. Play it, play it, play it after Kazooie. Or play it first. <laughs> but, 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 but play it after. But play it first. <laughs> play it after. It's the sequel for a reason. I didn't know that. It. it <sighs> <laughs> oh, well, I didn't know that when I was a kid, but, but you're a d okay. You for <laughs> Who's Tui? <laughs> Who's Tui? I want to meet him. Is he is he Kazooie's little brother? You brought me here quickly. You must follow. There's your OC, Aaron. No. Um, okay. actually, my OC is Kingfisher. Who be that? Um, he's a Kingfisher. Okay. <laughs> what is that? His name is, his name is Kingfisher, and he's uh -huh. a Kingfisher. Um, that's, that's a kind of bird. Okay. Um, and, uh, he's very, he's very flamboyant. Does he go, eh, eh, eh? Why did you bring me a little bit. <laughs> like Yuko or Jolly Roger himself? A little bit, but yes. But he's not gay because he, um, he has a crush on Kazooie. Oh. It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Well, there Anything you go. is bi. <laughs> <laughs> My mother look like me. I have been thinking recently about going back to Tui, but I gotta find a way to um, show it on my PC so I can have you watch and then I can play it again. Mm -hmm. I want to beat it already so I can go into uh, Nuts and Bolts because I, I still am sticking to what I've said before in the past that I've already beaten Kazooie a couple times. It's way easier for me to complete, I feel. I still have to beat Tui for the first time. I got, I'm nearing the end. I'm already, I've unlocked and been to like, I think all of the worlds, but I haven't completed everything. And I need uh, like another fucking 20 jiggies in order to uh, do the final fight with Gruntilda. Yeah. So I still have a ways to go. It's just trying to meet those requirements now at this point, but I've unlocked all the worlds if I remember right. But you've been there with me every time so you can direct me because you know the game better than I do. My hope is not unless I have a guidebook. Everything. Oh, well, sure, because I remember there was, uh, what was it? I think a first-person part that I was really stuck on, and you were trying to help me out with that. Um, 
Yeah. I, well, I don't but like those. Overall, parts, so. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anyone who does. <laughs> Even I had Victor play, and he was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> I mean, oh. that that game is basically it, it's basically Sparrow Three. That is what I, have I mean, kind of, yeah. That you came from the womb of the uh, sort of. A gift um, from all mother herself. I mean, that's an analogy that I initially went with. Like, Kazooie is Spyro 1, and then Tui is, like, 2 and 3. Because you do a lot more, there's a lot more focus on the extra side shit. And you have to backtrack a lot more. You don't really have to backtrack too much in uh, Banjo-Kazooie. A little bit, but... As long as you know where everything in the hub world is, then you'll be fine. Because it's laid out very simplistically. Yeah, but because it still has mini games and stuff, so I wouldn't say it's exactly like Spiral 1. Oh, well, sure, but I'm saying the process of getting everything is very straightforward, uh, like Spiral 1. And you can complete the levels without having to... Um, the, the new moves you learn... All you have to do is just look out for the little poop piles <laughs> and, and little dirt piles and you find uh, you find bottles and he'll uh, he'll uh, give you your, your little ability but then right after that you just just go out and keep fucking exploring and collecting shit. But I did say that after I beat, uh, after I've beaten Tui, I'm going to go to Nuts and Bolts because I, I, I want to play it. I have it on a uh, through rare replay, but I've been very, uh, I've, been, I've always been curious as to how that game plays because it's a very different game and it's very weird. But I've not, from all the gameplay I've seen and all that, what, what reviewers and whoever tend to do, even like John included, like, They've never went in depth as to what the story's about. Like, I don't know. I still don't know anything really about it. So, like, because of that, I do have the game on me, but I want to I want to make it a thing to beat Tui first. And once that's done, then I'm going to play as much as I can. If I can beat it, I don't know if I will, but I'll try and play through as much of Notes and Bolts as I can stomach if it's really if it really does get to me the way it's gotten to everyone else. Um, or if I find out that maybe I don't think it's all that crap. There is another way. Come, and we will make it the only thing I can definitely agree with everyone else on is that I hate the fact that they really try to shit on platformers just to keep up their fourth wall breaking humor that the series has always had. That makes me really angry. Yeah. Less than half survived. Just because it's a, what, like late 2000s game, so the industry was shifting at that point shooters and action games were the big thing and platformers were dying out i'm telling you everyone went in a weird direction all types of things franchises were shifting developers were taking on different ip uh said ip were going through vastly different changes you know crash wasn't the same for a while there spyro was during doing the reboot then later we joined skylanders Tomb Raider was getting rebooted. Uh, Devil May Cry was getting rebooted. Um, Benjo Kazooie had nuts and bolts, which just had a different look and feel to it. Like, so, you know, and then other Fly just you know had one more game than just died, and other yeah. you know Rayman Rayman had the rabbits for a while. So like everyone just went under a really weird fucking shift. I think the only ones. Uh, I mean, because because uh, Jack yes. Jack and Daxter's shift was pretty early. I think of everyone, the only one that's been consistent was fucking Ratchet. Uh, like their style has changed. Not even style. Like their look and aesthetic have sort of changed here and there. Um, but the series was pretty consistent in how it played and what it was, you know, in its humor and its stories and stuff, its plots and whatnot. Join with us. It was pretty consistent, I feel. But everything else was changed, like, a lot. EJ, I've been to Mexico. That's the farthest I've ever gone. I have never been out of the state. Why is everyone's hair clipping through everything? Because that's the way it was. 
Damn, it's almost like the PS4 fucking lied. <laughs> this is PS4. This is PS4. This is PlayStation 4. These are the graphics. They are fucking good. But the hair keeps on clipping through their clothes. <laughs> Y'all didn't think you were going to get some musical theater while you were in the stream, did you? That black person right there looks like Malcolm from Nostalgia. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, like what? Anyway, no, I was going to say, I was going to say, oh, this is, um, this is the reason why uh, every character in Forbidden West has short hair. It's because they didn't want to clip it through the cloth. <laughs> they couldn't figure out how to not clip through the cloth. Yes. Yeah. The little, the little bit, the, the big little beads. When you are done, or as the need arises. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the embrace. Speak to Varl. And he will point the way to Meridian. Let's go see Varl. Laura tries to stand in your way, Aloy. Little Varl. Make Varl-y. sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Nah. Uh. Thank you, Tirsa. For all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful. We will soon begin. Purify your hearts. How could the cause Soon of Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought spread. such misery on the tribe. When we hear Oh, her name's Tirsa. I thought it was Teresa. Yeah. Tirsa. Mother Teresa. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Well, she's away the taste of metal. I love this armor. The womb of the mountain. The womb of the mountain. Aloy! Why don't you crawl back into your mother's womb? Womb. There are rumors. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? I also want to take this opportunity to let everyone know that yes, it has finally happened. We don't talk about Bruno is now stuck in my head. A seeker. Tissa and Jess have gone insane? I've been, it's been on and off in my head for days now. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh no, it started again. No wonder a curse is oh, Bruno. Oh, Bruno. It's, star it's starting again. <laughs> How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw That's why my beer looks. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow. Are you okay with that? Resh, no. Come on. Silence. Oh, why not? It's a little tiny I beard tuft. And I am a seeker. I don't by like it. Matriarchs. So open the gate. But it's a little be beard way. tuft. The sooner you're gone, oh, I don't like looks it. Cool. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, it's not that thick. Yeah. I. I it was thick, but then I, I shaved it down, so now it's a little tiny beard tuft. Hey, why that looks cool. I like beard tufts like that. Fine, I guess. How come I can't look cool to you? What I have because to do to where you go? Because you're always comparing to characters who don't look cool. <laughs> How do these so robots survive in the rain? <laughs> What's it doing to them? Taking control. Well, who, who's cool that I can be like, what if I did this thing like that guy? I don't know, we have different ideas on what's cool. Brace so you're just yourself. like, what if I did the, the what if I did that? And I'm like, no. And you're like, but it's cool, and I'm like, but I don't think it's cool. 
Okay, what do you think is cool? I don't know. You, you, if you, you do, you, you know, you know. Yeah, I know what's cool, but it doesn't, it, like, I, I know what's cool fictionally, not in real life. But these guys are photorealistic. I can see someone looking like, like, Resh. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like the way he looks. Okay, then who do you like? I hate like? that guy. He's an asshole. Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! Who comes close to photorealism that I could look like? I don't know. Leon? Uh -huh. But he has the weird hair. What do you mean the weird hair? His hair splits down the middle. He's got like he's got like boy band hair. What are you talking about? What? Hey, I tried to say that I wanted to have shaggy hair, and you said no. I don't like when you have long hair. That's well, that, that's not the same thing. Leon. Evil four. Shaggy hair and boy band hair are not the same thing. His hair goes past his eyes. Yeah, exactly. I goes my over hair one has eye. my hair has once done that, and you said I look weird. Cause you probably do look weird. Oh. <laughs> you see the do you see the contradiction here? You can't. You're telling me to quote you in this logic. You have to look cool like the guys that I like. Okay, well then who would you recommend? Leon. I Leon, never said yes. you I never said you have to look cool like them. You asked who I think looks cool. I said Leon, but I'm I'm like I don't think you could pull that off though. I can't pull off looks that I think are cool. What if you could? I can't. So now my question to you, maybe I didn't make it clear. Uh who of the cool guys do you think I could look like? I don't know. I came to help defend my. I don't mean like exactly either, because there's no way. But I, I mean like. You if look, you look like characters like... that I don't necessarily think look cool, but I like oh, anyway. Look at yourself, sir. Why does he look wooden and dead? I don't know. Everyone looks wooden and dead. You're wooden and dead. <laughs> no, but Salazar looks specifically wooden and dead. Wait. Who are you talking about? I, I'm, I'm going through Leon shit, and then Salazar just came up randomly. Yes. And, and I'm looking at him. He has like wrinkly little boy man skin. Thank you, Teb. Why does he look like that? I'm asking, are why does he look like that? You'll make fun of my son. That's I'm, I'm kidding. You can totally make fun of my son as long as much as you his, want. <laughs> I don't know his story. I'm just I'm looking at this image and I'm going eh, because there's a, a fucking dagger going through his hand. He well, he didn't always look like that. Um, he it's this because he was very in, high death. It's because he's infected. Um, oh, no wonder why that his eyes are yellow. Yeah, he's got. Got the disease. Like he, he's he's he's, in, he's Benjamin he's Buttoning, in, infected with the um, the you know plaga. El la plaga. Yeah, <laughs> las plagas. <laughs> God, I almost called him Leo. Leon looks like he's gonna fucking start crying at any minute. Um, if you want, if you want to know what, uh, he does. If you want to know what Salazar looks like before, um, you could probably find a picture. Uh, it's, it's a portrait that you can find in the game. Um, and he's, you know, he's got, uh, brown hair and, uh. Ooh. Yeah. There's actually a Leon jacket. I'm sure there is. You can you could buy IRL. What if I wore that? What would, how would you react? Well, how would you react if I didn't tell you I bought it and then I came up and, and we met up like at the airport, airport the fucking uh, train station one day and I was just wearing that jacket. I'd and I had like, long boy been here. Jacket. And I had long boy been here. Do you need help? You're the one who survived the proving. Yes, 
See, that, that would make you go, damn, son. That make you go, what the fuck are you doing? You look ridiculous. Turn that off. His sentence ended, but he didn't come back. His camp was empty and covered in blood. Chad, give me advice. How do I look cool for my girlfriend? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. How do I look visually appealing? I don't know the tricks. I'm just find him then. I'm telling you. If, when when you showed me that one picture, I was like, why can't you look like that? And you're just like, uh. <laughs> which which one? Remember the picture of you in high school or whatever? Um because I was still very uh uh what's the word? Um I still hated myself back then. Well, that's no reason to. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I still didn't like myself then. I can test the override device on them. Whoop. Should go. There we go. Yeah. 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 Ride. Well, I haven't this buzzed my hair fast. down. I can probably do the Tristan it. hair. Yeah, you do that. Wear some nice clothes. Sure, that's gonna make you go, damn, you're you're cool now. <sighs> I'll come in this fucking suit and tie, I'll come in a tuxedo. <laughs> For no reason. For absolutely zero reason. I'll just walk up to you with a tux on. <laughs> what would you do? I I would be very confused. <laughs> You're like, dude, wh why? <laughs> what if it made me look slimmer? It wouldn't, but what if it did? Okay, then. And get your hair to look good. D How? What does that mean? My hair's already really short because I, I liked the buzz look for a while. I used to not like the short hair when I was younger. When I was in high school, I uh, always wanted to keep my hair long because that's the kind of hair I liked. And then, uh, wear a fedora. I already do that. She steals it all the time. We have, yeah. I, took, I have pictures of us together, and she always wears my fedoras. Don't worry. That, that that's that's one thing I think you like about me. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I think. I try have to try, and you don't have to try, because I'll always compliment you. It's not. <sighs> what? Cause you're just like you don't have to try. It's like, well, you you say that, but because it's not like you worry about. Any well, first off, you don't worry about anything because, in the sense of, oh, I have to look good because he's coming over. Like, no. Also, you don't uh, really. Do you really think I don't? <laughs> I don't feel like you would feel like you would have to. Do you? <laughs> Do you really think I don't worry about what my face looks like all the time whenever I go out? I mean, with me specifically, though. I'm, but like for, I mean, for everyone. Uh, I don't, I don't think you, you should be. I don't, I don't think you're that self-conscious. Wow, it's like you don't know me at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that's your. You don't strike me as, as self-conscious, really. <laughs> this must be Bob's camp. <laughs> well, uh, if anyone tries to say anything about you, that's why I, I'm around, so I can be like, "Fuck you, she's beautiful." You don't know shit from anything. And then I go, "Ew." No, you can't go, "Ew." Eesh. That makes me sad.
not get modifications yet. Let's give me a new one. I have I have many different fedoras, flaming gamer. Which ones do I have? I they're actually right here. I have a gray one. I have a couple black ones. I have one that has studs all around the brim. Um, not the brim. Sorry, that with a little call. What was it? What the little stripe on the hat? It's not called a stripe. What's it called? I don't know. Well, all along that, there are little studded, like little things on it, and I've so got one that's this. This is the one thing that's this is the one thing that they removed that I was like, why? Why would you remove that? This call mount plus. Why would you ever <laughs> remove call mount plus? This is like literally the best thing in this game. <laughs> call mount, paramount plus. Blood, but no body. There's gotta be more to this. And then I have one that looks, uh, that's got stripes. It's a black one with gray stripes. Looks like a few drops of blood leaked away from the can. I've got a couple of cool fedoras. Yeah, the long and sort of bendable brims. The, the ones that bend up from the, the back. Yeah, th those are all mine. This is a good question. People also ask, is Leon Kennedy dead? Um, no. Did someone attack Who is him? dead? My son. My son's dead. <laughs> Cat comes like, not that I know of. Leading away from here. Oh no, uh, check the picture of, um, there, of Salazar right. before he looked like that. Salazar, not fuck. What? No! Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't type that in, what the hell? Must have also left tracks. <laughs> before he was forever tarnished. Oh, here it is. Uh. Oh, he was a small black haired child. I thought it was brown hair, but okay. I don't know. Well, this is a dark image. He looks like... What does he look like? I don't know. He's just a kid. Oh, here's... Oh, here's here's just the image. Wow. Um, he looks like he got everything he ever wanted to do. He's like, Father, please fucking shine my shoe. I don't know why he sounds like that. Shine my shoe. <laughs> oh, I'm back here. This comedy y'all have. What's been comedic about what we've been talking about? I hate the way I look. And my girlfriend's pretty. Ugh, That's cool. comedy. <laughs> okay, so back to the looks. <laughs> also, I'm not fucked up. <laughs> Not infected with with white. My my sweet son. Your your little fucking dead child. <laughs> no. <laughs> your fucking deceased uh, uh, offspring was an offspring. He's not your actual child, but your little child. My child is only uh, he's only ten years younger than me. <laughs> oh my God. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why? <laughs> Your little fucking baby boy. This is my baby boy. Well, if I ask if you. <laughs> Well, if I'd ask you if you'd play a bad game if the demand was high enough, but I, I don't know. Well, I would, because I usually do, but... Well, not usually, but I, I would be more open to it. Well, if you want me hard to play uh, a... I don't know if you'd call it... Well, some people will call it outright bad, but a very debatable Spyro game. She will play Ed of the Dragonfly if you help get her to 10k subs. Yeah, if I reach 10k.
forget about traveling light. So you want skinny high school mark back, is what you're saying? Yes. Um, uh, I could try. <laughs> it would be very hard. Because that was 10 years ago. Oh, then it then needs to be clean shaven. My weird chin has to stick out. Your weird chin? There's something wrong my, with your chin. My, my weird double chin thing I got from my dad. It's like a weird little... Like physical trait, I guess, or whatever. Huh. Like under, like right under my chin, right in the area where, like, not on my neck, but it's like right there. There's like a little, like, chin pouch. I don't know what the fuck you'd call it. <laughs> apparently, he had it or has it, and apparently, that's one thing I got from him. It just makes me look like I have a bigger chin than I actually do, or like a bigger, like I have like a double chin or something. Also reborn, hello. A bad game we have nostalgia for? Huh. Um, Interesting. Depends. Something that people think is bad or call bad that I like, or something Maybe that's something actually that you, bad. It's something you acknowledge is probably a, a kind of bad game, but it's something you can still kind of play and be like, well, I mean, it's kind of whatever. Like, is there any um, game you have like that? Well, I know a game that people uh, would call bad. I, I know um, Black Sheep games that I fucking love. Let's play Bomberman Act Zero. <laughs> That's a fun one. Yeah. Let's play a Sonic game. Any of them. <laughs> <laughs> was an outcast for a long time why take food and gear now like obviously people would say you know star fox adventures is the black sheep of the franchise but i don't care i love that game yes there's a part of me that's still kind of intrigued to maybe want to try it out someday please What'd you do if you went on the YouTube and you saw that I was playing it on Vig Games? I would scream. <laughs> I'd watch the whole thing. <laughs> Come on, Mount. We're here. I think they made the mount system a little too complicated. It's like you can, the supplies from the cache. you can set it Why would they take them? They might just throw them away. to um when you override when you override a machine, you can set it to like defensive or aggressive. But, like you can do that, so you can do that for mounts, and like you can still mount them when they're in aggressive mode. That's a little harder because they keep kind of running away from you. Uh -huh. um, but I feel like I feel like they did that because it's like, oh, if you set it to aggressive, um, it means that you just want to have it to like kill the other machines for you and help you out with that. It's like, okay, that's fine. And then uh, defensive. Um, Uh, defensive, you know, you can you can mount it, and then it'll just kind of stay there, and it won't really, uh, I'll kill I'll kill it, it won't really engage in battle with the other spirit. machines. So you, you know, want? so your mount you won't die. It's like, no. okay, that's fine. Alone, but if you had Call Mount Plus, then it wouldn't matter if your mount died. Like, when everybody is shouting at me. So many voices to listen to. You must make your head hurt. I promise my voice will be soft and soothing. A soft voice, like Alaris. Oh look, I didn't know they put me in the game. So long. 
years. What? Yes. I said, dude, fucking don't do it. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the forgotten. Souls cursed by the All Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things. Hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Do you oh, listen to the spirits, me. Mark? Do you listen they to them? Take care of me. Uh, me probably, company. and they say, Help me. Except when they scream. Yeah, so like when they go, me oh, down, shit, right. go with the So they say, ah, sure, sure, sure. And I did. Brom. You're alive. They say, Asha, Asha, Asha. Oh, mother be praised. They do, and then I get scared. And I say, turn the volume down. No, 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 no. They say, Please, sister. I'm going to be like, oh, fuck, why the ASMR even in my ear? I need no protection from you, bro. Oh, what are they even saying? This is gummy candy that Ari gave me. It's fucking impossible to open. They're saying, do it, jump, you pussy. <laughs> Jump you pussy. George you pussy. <laughs> he fears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes. Just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once and it was provoked. I I don't want to hurt you. But the forgotten, their their whispers, they they fill my head with screams. So just straight up games we hate. I mean, I don't know. I usually tend to avoid stuff like that because if it's a game I, that I hate, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play it. Oh, you can play Eternal Night. Yes. Everyone will enjoy that. Did y'all hear that Glover's coming back? Uh, kind of. <laughs> One more question about the, the high school thing. Do I have to dye my hair red again no, too? No, no, that doesn't that doesn't matter to me. None of that matters. Finally <laughs> I can open this thing. Alright. You prefer Tristan or the faux hawk? This candy is very weird. But it's what kind is it? strangely familiar. It's like a gummy, but it has like a filling. Ew, that's weird. Kind of like... I don't want to say it's like Gushers. It's not exactly like that. It tastes familiar. It ta Oh my god, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like those um, gummy Krabby Patties. Krabby Patties? Yeah, like gummy those gu those little gummy Krabby Patties. Those gummy burgers. Oh. I've never I've never had them. That well, it's like it, it must be the same kind of gummy. But yeah, that's what it tastes like. Except it has like like filling. Weird. Hmm. Sounds of fighting. They're just outside the gates. The gates look shattered. Watch yourselves. Bring it closer. Closer. Yeah, there he is. Varo. Uh, Tristan Hare or Faux Hawk? Oh, um... Aloy. Doesn't matter. The outcast who won okay. the proving. So you survived your... Oh, hey, Black Man, see you're killing a bunch of stuff. Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You see... It's Varl. No. Look for those facial hair. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Oh, weird, but different. 
And then you should head north to Mother's Crown. See, this is why facial hair matters. <laughs> She'll point the Not really. If I make it. The I think trail it's fine. is dangerous. Ever since the war party well, because I, well, I mean, clearly I didn't recognize him without it. I was like, wait, I had to like look at his hair and be like, oh wait, he does his hair the same. No war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Uh, sort of, but only because Sona went missing. No, I'd go I mean, covering up the face in a way. Me to it's the same as like when you put on face paint, or if you put on so I have. like big goggles or sunglasses, or whatever. Like obscuring part of your face is gonna make you look different. So with facial hair for men, the same thing goes, like having a little mustache okay. or the full thing Aloy. or it connecting to your sideburns or whatever, or making it really, really poofy, you're going to look a lot different. Sometimes it makes you look older, sometimes it makes you look younger, so we're not having, you know, being clean shaven makes you look younger, apparently. Okay. Oh, I tried that gummy, and it was, no, no, I'm not going to have those again. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. But she went after the killers who attacked mm. the proving. No, no, no. Mm, too much. Love, who tried to kill you. What it tastes like. I get it, Saul. Well, I'll see like I said, it tastes like those little gummy burgers, except it have like a filling. But like, but like, what was it fruity? Or like, that's what I mean. Like, no, no, no it's just like, yeah. It's just fruity. Like, not unless like, not a specific taste. Discovered. Mm. Just randomly fruity oh. but it was like May the ooh, goddess like, protect. it was mostly like sweetness that's it it's like mostly sweet without any like flavor no 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 it's like it's like a fucking monster energy drink well The so gamer has a hypothetical. We wake up and start your morning as usual, but every so often you hear a voice narrating everything you do, and it's chills. What would your reaction be? Uh, I would want to kill myself. <laughs> oh my god! Because there's no way I'd I'd want his voice um narrating everything I do every day. Only only you can hear him. Would he use Miharu or your real name? When the war party was ambushed? I would Not hope exactly. he'd use Miharu, but I don't know. Miharu. Or a brave or... Miharu. Miharu. You shouldn't be he'd probably Miharu. pronounce it that. Well, whoever you are, you're hurt. What happened? I like the way Greg Berger pronounced it, he said Miharu. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he had a it's like he had a uh, check the little message again to be like, wait, I hope I get it right. <laughs> yeah, he had to think about it. I mean like, what the fuck kind of name is that? <laughs> I need to get going, Kren. All right. Be careful. Especially if you're I'd just be like be sure to Am I watching a video forever in my head? Yeah. He'd say he'd say, then Mark farted and went to go get a soda from the refrigerator. I thought you were gonna say then Mark farted and went to bed. <laughs> he farted in his bed. You ever farted in your bed? Of course, I fart in my bed all the time. You're just laying there on your stomach and with your head sticking out to the side. And you're just sitting there, laying there, all of a sudden you just hear, and you're like, well, that happened. <laughs> it's a good thing that my head's not under the covers right now. But both had asked what our thoughts are on TMNT. I guess as a whole, uh, I'm I like it. I like TMNT. If you're talking about specific iterations, uh, I liked the 2000s TMNT that was on Kids WB and the Fox Box, and I also like uh, the 2007 CGI movie called TMNT. That's about as much as I can say about it. I've never watched any other show. I've never seen the '80s one. I've seen clips, and I've never like sat down and watched a full episode. And I've never ahead, watched a full episode of the Nickelodeon show. I've never watched an episode of the Rise of the TMNT. I've only just seen clips and trailers and shit. 
strange for but i did watch the first uh michael bay movie michael bay produced movie who was he yeah i like that movie slaver or killer uh, i didn't see out of the shadows though well, uh, I watched the review on it from Nostalgia Pick and AVGN and Black Nerd on it recently. Again, it wasn't the first time. I just watched it again recently. Unless someone does something about it. I like you, sir. Your mascara is running. I'll be there. There's a band camps. And the only TMNT game I've ever played was uh, Smash Up, which was the, uh, the platform fighter, or as people would probably call it, uh, Smash Brothers TMNT. It was done by Ubisoft, so they put they put a rabbit in there. You could fight as a rabbit. Huh. You could fight as you could fight as a regular rabbit, and then you could fight as uh, an Enzio Assassin's Creed rabbit. 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 <laughs> Rabbit. A random regular looking bunny dressed with a little <laughs> Assassin's Creed hood. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Rabbit. And that's what that's what he's called. A rabbit the... with an Assassin's Creed outfit. That'd be cute. That's all that's what I was saying, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just has the big hood. <laughs> the ears there, the little holes so the ears could stick out of it. What if Bianca had, had that? What if instead of doing them, her, well, doing them, I, I'm well, comparing it to Lola Bunny, but like, what if her hair, her fucking ears stood up, but they came out, out of the hood? <laughs> that would be little, cute. Little ear holes. It'd probably look weird, though. Like, how would you draw the ears with the hood? Because her ears, st I've never seen any, like, I haven't seen anything, fan art or otherwise, of them like tweaking their ears to stick straight up like an actual rabbit. Well, not an actual well, rabbit, but like to stick straight up like Bugs Bunny or something. To stick straight up would be weird, yeah. Um, but there, there is that, there is that art um, from the art book that shows her with her hood and her ears out at the same time. I have to go back and look at that again because I don't remember what it looks it's like. It's on the thumbnail of my part two video. Wait, I thought that no, her ears are st well, her ears are sticking out of the hood from the sides, but not. I know that's out what I said. Hood. I I know. No, from the back though is what I'm talking about. I know for I know you were talking about from the back, but I was saying well at least there's that. That's the only okay, time okay. we've ever gotten both of them at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. That's true. Cause see, in my my head just went to like, I was like, there's artwork of her with her ears sticking out the back of her hood. Like that's what I was thinking. No, no, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. So when are you wounded? Drop. What happened to you, Hunter? John wants to know if there are moments from Hell of a Boss that we liked or hated. Uh, anything with Luna is good. Um... <laughs> Pretty much, I mean, I was chasing a guy. Eat it. I don't like. So I don't think there's anything I hated from it. I was going. Right to the no, I wouldn't say so either. Maybe they just toned down a little teeny tiny bit on the cursing because it's almost every other line. You're a clever one. But uh. But not so clever. Yeah. Not that it's even. Not, not even that. That's the hugest issue. But like. It's not. The biggest I issue either. I mean, like, I thought that for, Dead like, um, like, has been. I, I thought the they could have yeah. that, too. Um, which is kind of why I'm hoping story. that because it's, you know, it, it's being picked up by, like, you know, a bigger company now, and then they're actually making it, it's Here like, they're kind of, like, making it for, here, like, you know, an actual show for, like, almost, like, TV, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's going to be on TV. Yeah, so it's gonna be on TV. Like, I'm hoping that they'll kind of tone it down. Um, but they like, might. maybe they won't, because uh, I mean, there are some shows that do that regardless. Um, but 
my hunting party. Like, I don't know, maybe because of that, they'll they'll realize, oh, uh, not all adult cartoons have to have the word fuck every minute. Like, I was about to say, yeah, you could criticize any adult animation show for that, that just because they're rated mature or whatever they could be like oh we can say like, fucking shit a lot now yeah ma mature doesn't mean cursing every second in fact that means you're more immature probably find my friends it's funny because a, a lot of people i've seen that argument around where it's like how come um some kids shows like avatar are way more adult than the actual adult shows like uh rick and morty or family guy and it's like because all of those are basically, except for Rick and Morty, um, a lot of shows like that are follow the same formula, and it's usually some type of you know family-oriented show or whatever. Like like it's about a family, so there's like you know Family Guy or um, F is for Family or something else, and again because it's adult, they can get away with saying like balls, ass. Well, I don't want to say ass, but like, you know, balls, mm -hmm. dick, fuck, balls. shit. The corruption hangs and they just do it over and over. You could show a pair of animated testicles, probably. The Sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Vol told me you'd know the way to murder. Well, I don't know. When you use it in choice moments for very specific yes. jokes, that's what can make it very funny. But Their they just tend to do it whenever because they feel, well, we're an adult show. You could just do it. So let's no, do it. And it's not it's really always. It's not always work. But it's funny because I thought about that and how people say that. Like, oh, how come kids shows that are really well written are uh, can tackle adult issues and situations or whatever way better than actual adult shows adult oriented shows you know because they don't they're more immature like you said they're more immature and stuff because and people don't understand what actually like it means to like you know be mature and adult they think oh like that means we can curse a lot like no that's not because um not at all actually i was what I would like to see is a family-oriented show that uh, that still has like a really good narrative and you know is not something and, and they're all they're all episodic as well for the most part they're usually again Rick and Morty isn't it does have a through line for a plot through each season and whatnot um, Rick and Morty might be the closest to what I'm thinking of but I don't know if it's quite there because I never really watched it I've just again seen clips and stuff but. Um, I would like to see a show that is some kind of an adventurous show where they're going on a journey. But if they're adult, that does mean they could they while they can get away with saying fucking shit and showing nudity and whatever, like choose how to show that stuff off sparingly. And if it serves the plotter, can serve a legitimately funny joke. Don't just do it. And the joke is that you can do it. That's usually not very funny. Especially because there are so many shows that are like that now that do that, it's oversaturated and it's just it doesn't work anymore. Um, like, I I love Venture Brothers. I think they're actually really funny with that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's not like it. That show is not like a lot of uh, like modern adult shows that you see. Uh huh. I'll see what I can find. If you can help, you have my thanks. I'll be at the campfire when you come by. I mean, I'm not going to add like Family Guy doesn't have its funny moments because it does. It does have some funny jokes or whatever, but then the jokes become bits. Then the bits get recycled and oh. Simpsons is the same way. And even kids shows like SpongeBob are the same way where a single joke becomes a whole bit. And then the bit gets repeated in newer seasons and episodes. And while it was funny the first time, it's super not funny the second or third or fucking fourth or how much ever time then because sometimes they can become running jokes and that's definitely not funny so like that's just usually what happens now especially with these shows that have gone on for like 20 plus years or getting up there like i don't know if family guy is actually 20 years old yet but i think it's getting up there yeah simpsons is like 30 and spongebob is like 20 something hmm. my god and they're still and not none of those are cancelled. Well, I don't know. Wait, did Family Guy end? I don't think it ended. 
big reputation. I don't remember if it did. Maybe it did. I don't remember. I don't, I don't think it did. Simpsons is still going on. SpongeBob's still going on. Um, are they canceled or are they canceled? If you do, you'll know you beat me. Consider it done. TV canceled or Twitter canceled? Pick one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There are ways to make the situations feel very, and that's why you have to start deep diving into the characters. And usually that stuff's reserved for live action stuff because you can convey it better with actual emotion from a realistic face. But if you have good animators and you are able to, you know, put the budget towards the animation, <clears throat> the animation and fleshing out stuff like that, then you can just as equally convey it across, across animation. I mean, again, Avatar does it very well. And, um, other animated shows do it very well as well. It's not about who's gay or who wants to fucking sleep with who or whatever. Who's gay? I'm gay. Like, if you want to make that a part of the story, I mean, sure, everyone's doing it right now, though. Again, when it's, like, original for a while, because one show or one movie or one whatever franchise, like, really starts to kind of explore that topic everyone else goes okay that's cool we can do that too and that doesn't really help in the sense that while it's see this is why these topics are a double-edged sword that's why we don't talk about them very much but when you see stuff like uh blm or the fucking lgbt uh, tq stuff like those are movements but now those movements are starting to kind of change the course of how shows handle those inclusions and because those movements are so prevalent right now, now all the all of these entertainment, all these bits of entertainment, all these shows and movies and franchises are starting to either introduce characters with I those mean, it qualities. Kinda, it kind of ceases to be like entertainment now because now it just kind of reminds you of real life. And it's like it feels like it's, it's supposed statement. to be like fictional. Like in, in these fictional worlds, can we just like not have that kind of stuff? Like, or find a better way to introduce that stuff or talk about it or mention it. I mean, maybe not even talk about it, but like weave it into some plot or do something. But we have to stop the whole show to talk about why this person's gay and they don't know where they're or they're sexually confused. And they don't know what they want to do or whatever. Like, what do you like? Just, why do you even need to just, talk about that? Why can't you just have a gay character and just like say that and that's it? No, exactly. No, exactly. Like either just have them be who they are, and that's who they are. But don't you know, if when you call attention to it, that's when you start to shift focus from what the story is to hey, hey, look at this character. See, we're inclusive, and it's like don't don't attack it as see, look at us, we're inclusive. Tackle it as this is just the world. It's diverse. People are like this, just like in real life, and that's your little slice of realism. Is just showing and not putting all this emphasis because every show and these movements are really doing that where if you want to follow that stuff then that's what you use twitter or whatever else for but when we just want our entertainment like that stuff does kind of bog it down i'm not trying to say that i'm not trying to criticize the movements or whatever or the inclusions or exclusivity or inclusivity rather but like it it, that's what it starts to uh, look at shows like Shira. Look at other. Look at shows like fucking Owl House. Like that's the those examples we usually go to. Or again with the BLM stuff. Not to get into it too much, but it's like look at how many characters in adaptations start becoming a different ethnicity altogether that weren't established as that ever before. I always go to when it comes Which to which is not stuff, necessarily a bad thing, but no, it's just but like. like it's no no like when when you do it like just to make that statement it's like it's like all right yes. well, why'd you have to do that like you could do that like because th i mean that was a thing that was like that was kind of always happening like it i mean yeah. i'm sure that other other things have done that even even way before like oh, they always I, you know change characters for like different adaptations so that's fine yes no i i always have very see i just have on hand some very specific examples to get what I'm trying to say across. So for example, right, right. Um, for example, because I know I know you know this already, but I'm gonna tell the chat or the the stream. Um 
my mom introduced me to the show Smallville, which is about uh, Clark Kent before he was Superman. And it ran for like 10 years. It's a live action show, it, or it was on the WB or the CW. And oh. um, Pete Ross in the comics is white, but in that yes. show, he was a black guy. Yes. I didn't know this. I didn't know Pete Ross was a character from Superman. I just knew him on Smallville. And so I thought it was actually kind of weird that he was white in the comics because I was so used to seeing him as a black guy in right. the show. So but, like, you know, when you go back, you're just like, oh, that's weird because I didn't even know this character before. Yeah. But the way everything's handled with in terms of that stuff and those adaptations and whatnot now, like why did they make Starfire black on the on the live action titans show or how come johnny storm was turned black in the fan four stick reboot movie it just feels random in that sense and with it happening as often as it does nowadays as opposed to just maybe here or there back in the day like it's more noticeable now is what i wanted to try and get across like it's more noticeable now than it was back then it's more common and it's weird because I, I don't understand it, especially because with characters like Johnny Storm or Starfire, especially Starfire, because she's an alien. I'm like, she already looks, you know, she has a very specific look. And I know right. that look because I watched Teen Titans as a with, kid. With characters who are aliens, it really doesn't matter, like, what they look like. But it was bizarre as to... She, they didn't even make her look like an alien. She was just this black woman. And it's no fault of the actress, which, of course, every, I don't know, that was one of the first fucking things, which was sad to see that everyone was, like, heavily criticizing the actress. And it's like, no, right. no, no. It's not, it's not, it's not the actor's fault. fault at all. No. I think it was just the casting choice. And it's not to say that she can't be Starfire. It's just weird to see that a character just happened to have turned into a different ethnicity for, like, seemingly no reason. The whole appeal of starfire as a character visually was that she was an alien you can look at her and be like green eyes orangish skin you know darker colored tongue like she's not human so when you just make her a frizzy haired black lady it's kind of weird when you first see it and you're like oh wait that's starfire um it's and it could be any ethnicity it could have been anything it has nothing to do with her being black it's like oh if they made starfire asian or hawaiian or japanese it had been equally as weird it's like why 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 did you do that that's that's strange to see like when you first like as a first impressions kind of thing um meanwhile uh-huh. if you want to do some kind of you know uh there's green lantern there's uh i forget their names there's hal jordan which i think is the i think is the white one and then there's i forget his name but there's the black one they're two completely different people, though, that have that same moniker. So, or even Spider-Man with Peter Parker or Miles Morales. Like, Miles Morales is black, but he's not black Peter Parker. Not in the, not in the slightest. If you've watched fucking movies like uh, uh, Into the Spider-Verse or played uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, like, I mean, okay. yeah, he's his own character. Yeah. That's fine. But if they just one day said, hi, uh... Here's our movie, and Peter Parker's black. It's like, what? Um, no, what? The, huh? what? <laughs> it's weird in that sense because there's this initial like whiplash kind of mood to like seeing that. Um, right. Um, no. Anyway, no. This is what I want to talk about. I went to um, I, I went to my uh, my other save, my my best save. Uh huh. Um, so I could show some things. Um, on like, first of all, I want to show this cool ass weapon. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to, uh, I need to find, like, a frost flaw or something to test this on. Um, but I have, like, I have the best weapons on the save. Like, this is my, uh, my precision arrow, which does, like, 580 damage. Um, oh the Banuk power shot bow. This is really good. Uh, I have a, one with a lot of tear. It's like, yes, yeah, like, over 700 tear, um. Harvester, uh, I've got a hunter, shadow hunter bow, got some good stuff, and shadow war bow. But yeah, my um, my forge fire, which is like a flamethrower, like a fire burster kind of thing. It's it's really awesome. I'm gonna find a machine to use it on. The Sundom nearly fell to an assassin. 
thank the sun she was there to stop him. And, uh... But yeah, if I go if I go to my inventory, see how there's this, like, um... There's, like, another, like, a sub-menu under here that says crafting? Mm -hmm. So, this is workbenches. <laughs> like, the, you can't no, you, you can't just go into your inventory and do this whenever you want. Like, you have to go to a workbench to do all of this. Because that, that sounds like it's backwards. Like, it, they should have had it, or if anything, it would have been, I think, more exactly. acceptable. If... It's, like they, it's like they tried to do things that, like, they're just like, oh, this seems more like game like, so we should put it in this. It's like, no, you already had it like good the way it was. You don't go, like, you don't backtrack. You don't go backwards. <laughs> you don't fix something that wasn't broken. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. But yeah, I found like all the campfires. All the campfires are green. So I like, and, and yeah, and this this one too. If you've discovered a campfire, it turns green. So you know. But that doesn't in Forbidden West, the... um, it's hard to tell because like you know that ones that you haven't discovered are like grayed out. But then the other ones just kind of, like, turn white. But it's hard to tell from the gray and the white. Well, I don't know if there's any, uh, Easter eggs in this one. Easter eggs. Yeah, last night for the stream, I, uh, showed me how to do the, uh, God of War one. Which you even knew about it, but I was having you do it. So I didn't know if you, knew, I didn't know if you did know about it, but then you recognized it when you looked at little figures and you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. So I got her the God of War face paints by directing her to find the little dolls. Yeah, not everything turns green when you completed it, but like it's kind of good as the campfires do. Um, I've died. Uh, I've done a side quest. Side um, quest. Yeah, I've done every side quest in this one. I've done most things except except this ancient armory thing, but it doesn't tell me how to do it. It doesn't tell me where to go. So, I'm not quite sure how to finish that one. Uh, I did all the, the vantage points, which I, I really like those. That was one of my favorite parts. I believe this is all the, this is all the frozen wild stuff up here. Frozen wilds. There's a frost claw site. So I'm going to go here, fast travel. 
fast travel for free because that was also a thing in this, but uh, <laughs> it's like it's it's different because like I like how they made free fast travel like a thing in Forbidden West if you just go to like if you just go to a campfire you can fast travel to another campfire like for free it's like and campfires are all over the place so it's not that big a deal um but just in case like you for some reason you're not around a campfire uh, it's not like it's that hard to craft fast travel packs, but in this one, uh, you get a thing called the Golden Fast Travel Pack. Which means, like, you'd fast travel anywhere, like, for free. Huh. What's that? Oh, you damn Glen Hawks. There we go. You're done. Everyone's talking about Doctor Who in the chat. Which doctor is your favorite? <laughs> I tried to watch Doctor Who and I didn't understand it. Yeah, I think I only watched like three episodes of like one of the series. And I uh, was like, this is weird. And then I just kind of stopped. <laughs> People are talking about how deep it is, and I'm just like, I don't get it. <laughs> it's so deep. <laughs> You're like, how? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Well, Jordan's heading out. We'll see you later, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. What's your favorite retro franchise? Like franchise considered retro due to age. What age make us feel old? Huh. <laughs> um, and the ones that we still play today, Crash, Spyro, you know, they started in the 90s. Um, God, I don't know. Uh, besides the obvious ones. Time traveling shit is about to begin. Um, no Tekken's up there. That one started in the mid nineties. No some silver. There are Potter movies in the same. Wow. I mean, they they really go into detail as to what's going on in those movies. I can see it confusing you for like movies five through seven because that's where they get really overly complicated. Yeah. But the first four aren't that bad in terms of conveying plot to you and overarching stories. Or sorry, is it overarching? Because I don't like saying that. I think it's overarching. I, well, yeah, overarching. I think it's either one. But if it's I either or, or then... Overarching sounds stupid. Yeah, I've, I hear a lot of people say it that way, but I say overarching. Um, Because each one was kind of... The first three were very contained, and the fourth one was too... But it's it's the in between for the rest of the series or the movies past it. It sets up just what the rest of the movies are about for the most part. But five and six are usually the ones that I don't remember uh, a lot about, even after like I've already like watched them, 
because her and I watched the first four over again. Uh, last time I went to go see her in person. And then uh, we're going to try and watch, I think, the other four, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I remember chunks, of course, the more the, some of the more important chunks uh, of Order of the Phoenix and Head Blood Prince, but as a whole, how, how it goes beat for beat, like, I don't, I usually don't remember those two. Yeah, kind of got, got needlessly complicated, um, but I still like them. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just think, um, I, I think Chamber of Secrets, it, it, well, that's still my favorite one. And, uh, like, Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban, I think, are the best ones. Yeah, they're very good. Uh, what order? Uh, chronological order. Um, okay, so if you have, like, um, if you have HBO Max, or if you just look them up on fucking online on google you'll see how they're numbered uh because if I, even if i say them right now you're probably not going to remember unless you come back to this part of the stream but it goes uh sorcerer stone timber of secrets prisoner of azkaban goblet of fire azkaban, uh, azkaban order of the phoenix uh have prince and then Deathly hollows one and two yeah but uh you can just look that up on google or if you're on hbo if you have hbo max they're numbered on the when you see them they're numbered that way so you'll know which ones to start with obviously you go in chronological order because i mean yeah if you try to watch like fucking three or five or something you're not gonna understand what's happening that would obviously make sense yeah if you watch um, them out of order like totally won't understand I, I would only recommend to anyone to watch those out of order only if you've already watched all eight of all eight movies, because then you can just pick one that you like, that you enjoy the most, and just watch it how you how you want. But if you're trying to get, if you're trying to make sense of how all the movies flow into one another and how the plot goes through, uh, you have to watch them in order. Uh, HBO Max helps because they number them. When you see them, when you click on them, no, well, not when you click on them. When you look at them on, on the fucking thing, you'll, you'll, uh, they have them numbered for you. Even if you were to look at the DVDs on the spine, they number them. They'll say year one, year two, year three. Yeah. Let me give You never seen them either. I, I would recommend if you like that kind of fantasy stuff i would recommend that you watch them because they're really they're really good i, I just recently uh, yesterday in fact i think it was uh, i watched uh the um hbo anniversary documentary on 20 years since harry potter uh, and the sorcerer's stone came out yeah sorry the philosopher's stone philosophers that just does not roll off the tongue no, at it all. Because like it's like we're we're Americans. We need our alliteration. <laughs> well, when it when it happens to be alliterative and it rolls off the tongue, then to me that to yeah to us that's good. <laughs> Sorcerer's stone, fell lost at first stone. <laughs> yeah. Ripto's rage, gateway to glimmer. <laughs> it's still alliterative, but it's just with too it's too long. I know. And doesn't make sense. And doesn't make sense. And, uh, and that, well, in the case of Philosopher's Stone, it actually makes more sense. Um, because the Philosopher and Sorcerer are completely two different things. Yeah. And people are just like, do Americans not know what a Philosopher is? It's like, no, we just like cooler movie titles. <laughs> um... So I'm gonna take down the Thunder Jaw. I'm gonna use like my best weapon. Do it. Fuck, we'll do it. Um. Okay. Is there any consistency to Harry Potter's magic system? Fucking no. Like, no, the not first, at all. the first four, are well, rather the first three are. You know, they balance. The first three movies balance. Them actually in class burn learning it, about shit. Burning it. Let's go. Burn it. Burn it. 
kill okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, the first three movies have an okay balance with showing them in class learning shit um, and techniques and whatever and spells. Um, and the rest of the plot of the background shit that's going on. Sometimes the class stuff happens to kind of leak into whatever is going on in the background. They'll get information from a, a teacher or whatever, a professor or whatever. But um, uh -huh. by the fourth one, the fourth one again is that weird in between. People call it the black sheet, but it's one of my favorite Harry Potter movies. Um, yeah, a lot of it's all about like the tournament. It, I, I know, I love it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, again, I understand too. Because it was so funny how they they called it out as well in the documentary because it's the moody teenager movie. Yeah, but when you look past that, because everyone's just fucking mad at each other and all horny for everyone in that film. But uh, when you look past that, it's it's still it's cool because it's simplistic in that there isn't a whole lot of background shit really. It's mainly a, almost solely about the tournament up until the end where you see Voldemort for the first time fully, and it's like, oh, shit. And that sets up the rest of the movies after that. Now that he's back, it's all about trying to stop him from invading Hogwarts, even though that happens in the end, but that's as much as I'll spoil. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, back to the magic system. So they spend the first three movies learning a good chunk of... Uh, half of like the, those movies are of them actually learning shit, and the other half is all the plot stuff. And sometimes, I mean, they do put their teachings to use, what they've learned to, to use. Um, but when the tone of the movie started to change from very kid-like and child-friendly sort of to like a little bit more edgier and mature, um, it's noticeable when like they start kind of using their ones like guns in a way because sometimes they won't even say a spell they'll just be in a little chase sequence and the bad guys will just start flicking the ones and just spewing blasts at them like it's a fucking gun with bullets and i'm not saying yeah, they do it really like weird. a gun and then they start using they start using like certain uh like spells and it actually doesn't do what it's supposed to do um like yeah. they'll use it in a way that's like oh that's not how that's supposed to work though like they'll use um the the most common one is Expelliarmus. Like the yes. fucking like what? Okay, what Expelliarmus is supposed to do? It's supposed to like flick the. It's supposed to disarm your opponent. Uh, it yes. flicks the wand out of their hand, and that's it. Like it doesn't really do much except do that, and then like you you now own their wand. But like or whatever. But um. It, so, but what it actually starts to do in the movies is like they go like it's Billy Armas and just like like it just like blasts them back into a wall. It's like that's not what it does. It's like it's There's not just like, fucking... <laughs> yeah, it's like a little like like Street Fighter fireball, or like a like a um uh I'm not I can't remember the fucking move. Uh, I was gonna say Kamehameha, but that's fucking Dragon Ball. Uh, <laughs> Hadouken, a Hadouken. It just Hadoukens you and blasts you back. <coughs> and uh sometimes it does it does that in the same scene. No, it does it in the same scene. Sometimes like it it, it works how it's supposed to, and then like next time they use it, it's like it's like BAM. It's like and they just explode. Because every time we every time we talk about that, we, we you and I always bring up Prisoner of Azkaban. It, no, because that's what it happens in the same yeah. scene. Yeah, namely, it's the part where uh, they catch up. They're in. They're in the Wumpy Willow, and they they come up to uh to Sirius Black and all them. And yeah, that's what it has. How it happens and Snape yeah, joins them. Yeah, they in. use it, it. Like it goes back and forth because they're just like, I think they yeah, because one of the music Spelliarmus is like flick, and then it like <clears> it, it like knocks the knocks the one out of his hand. And then there's like they smell the armors, they use it on Snape and he gets blasted back of the fucking wall. And I'm just like, that's not how that works. <laughs> and then they use it again next time like to um um to stop you know Peter before he turns uh, back into a rat. And then it does the same thing. It's like flick and it's like just pops a wand out of his hand. It's like, what? Yeah. Why, what is the inconsistency here? Is that supposed to be like a subtle like okay, so 
Who blasts it back? Is it Harry or is it someone else? It was Harry. Is yeah. Harry's Expelliarmus different from everyone else's? Is that what they're trying to show? Is there anybody uh, else who use it blasting no, one back? Or is it just Harry? No, I think there are other characters who do it and does the same thing. Do they? Oh wait, didn't Hermione do it to somebody at one point too? I think... Also, it does that- no, it- because that's the way it's- that's the way, like, they show it, um... That's the way they showcase it in, like, Chamber of Secrets where they're practicing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. if you want- if you want the biggest example of how to find out just how inconsistent the magic system and the spell system is in the world, look no further than by binging, because he- he did all the movies, I think, individually, but then he made a whole compilation of all of them. Um, Cinema Sins, everything wrong with the Harry Potter franchise. They, they made a compilation of each movie. They just flow into one another. And I swear he points out, it's so funny because I don't, you don't think about it. When they're practicing, you know, swish and flick, you know, um, they're, they're doing Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah. And sometimes you'll see the, they'll cut to like Neville and he's like in class. And he's, he's like whispering it to himself and practicing the swish and flick. But nothing's happening and it's like how do you say the spell and do the motion and it doesn't do anything like what does the one just know that you're practicing and you don't mean it like what and and then sometimes you don't even have to use any kind of you don't have to say anything to do something to do a spell sometimes they'll just do a thing and and just by the motion you know what they're trying to do because then the effect will happen on whatever they're doing it on and then there's that from engine thing i was talking about where it's like well then people start using it like it's a fucking gun and they start just shooting blasts at people and it's very very funny when you start to actually when you watch the movies i don't want to discourage silver because he's saying like oh yeah see, that's an issue well you're not going to necessarily like keep because that in you, the back of your like, head when you watch yeah, it because i don't care i mean it to me it's yeah, funny same. It's funny how inconsistent it is, but like it yeah. still it still makes for good entertainment. No, it wasn't replaced. Silver. They just kind of the movies just kind of go back and forth between what effect that spell has. Yeah, it's very like, strange. I think the very first time that they showcase it in in Chamber of Secrets, you know, when they're doing like a practice, uh, uh, Snape and uh, Lockhart, right? Yeah, um, yeah. He's like, he does, he does, he does expel the armors, and he fucking flips all the way across the room. Like what? <laughs> That's true. He does do that. It's like a, a full fucking backflip. Yeah. He falls on his face. <laughs> yeah, I don't even. I don't even know. <laughs> Um. Okay, well, Silver, you're talking about the fucking games. If you're talking about the Lego Harry Potter games, I mean, oh, that's, that's just, just having to. Whatever. That's having to remember, huh? That's just whatever. Yeah, that, that's 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 well, it's a game. It's going to be consistent in the games because whatever they're supposed to do from the movies or from the books, they'll try and represent them as accurately as possible. And then every time you use it. It's going to be the same effect every time. But the movies, they're just, depending on who needs to do what, at what point and what time to serve the plot, a, a single spell, a singular spell sometimes in certain instances can just have a different effect. Sometimes. Mainly, yeah, it's a spell armist, mainly. But the the very general fact of some spells need words, apparently. Apparently, some don't. Some, you just do the wand motion and it happens. It happens, yeah. Sometimes you don't even need to say or do anything for it to happen. Like, how did Harry make Aunt Petunia blow it up? I don't know. It just happens. Blow it up. Nobody fucking... Nobody... He doesn't say a word. He just looks at her and she starts inflating. He like, just what? looks at her. Well, That's actually, black magic right there. Yeah, I know. Well, he doesn't... Well, actually, he yells at her. And then she starts inflating. Yeah, but like... Point being, though, it's not even a spell. He doesn't say anything. Yeah. Or, he doesn't even want on him. Like, <laughs> it's very funny. In the moment when you're watching it, you're not going to really remember that unless you happen yeah. to, because we're it's telling just like you that. That, that you particular know. like thing was like it, that was like tied to his emotions, I guess. I suppose, but that opens. Well, that opens up a whole other fucking thing. Like, what? 
If you can initiate spells, if you're a wizard or a witch and you're initiating spells by fucking just thinking because you're feeling an intense emotion, like, what? why isn't that explored more? Because it's not a thing. They just kind of, I don't know, wrote themselves into a weird little thing with that. And it's the only instance where that happens. It's just very bizarre. Yeah. Um, I think there's another thing that I could do. I haven't found all the... It's like animal totems? Totem. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, silver, um... Well, that's just because I don't know how many spells are actually. I've never played any of the Lego Harry Potter games, so I don't know how many spells are actually represented. But that's that. You can't really compare the games to the movies, though. I mean, that's that's kind of weird, especially the the Lego games to the movies. Not even the the games based directly off the films. There's always so much they can cram in in terms of spells, because now those spells are abilities in a video game. But I'm talking about like the movies. Yeah. Taking the movies. The, the movie is taking their inspiration directly off the books. Like, I don't remember ever recalling in the Prisoner of Azkaban book. And then Harry blasted Snip across the wall with Expelliarmus. Expel Can't even say the fucking thing. Like, <laughs> suddenly Snape just fucking flew back. <laughs> and suddenly he was blasted into a wall. Dumbledore asked calmly. <laughs> there's there's your inconsistency. <laughs> I fucking love that video. It's so funny. Dumbledore asked calmly. To fucking cut to the movie. Did you put your name in the goblet of fire? <laughs> put your name in the <laughs> then grabs him by the collar and smacks him into the back of a shelf. I like how I like how the, the commentaries. We should watch the movies with the commentaries from pretty much it because it's so funny. <laughs> Because I, I like I like the way they do it. They're just like, did you put your name? They like do it like super over the top. Oh my god. Well, no, I get what you're going for, Silver. But like again, the games were programmed in such a way to where now those spells become abilities so who knows whether they're trying to take from the books as inspiration for how the spells work or the movies but i'm talking about the movies only had one source which was the books and sometimes they work one way and sometimes they work a different way within the same movie within the same scene yeah then other times you need to say the words and sometimes you don't. Oh, not to mention too, because I didn't realize this until fucking <laughs> until um they pointed it out on Cinema Sins. When Harry starts when Harry starts having his little classes in the room of requirement and he's helping them to all uh do their thing, he just goes over, grabs this girl's hand with her the one in her hand, and does the motion for her. Not, not even saying what the spell is and does the correct spell and it lands what what where's the logic like I, what yeah, he, yeah. Okay. he didn't it wasn't even his wand he took the girl's hand and motioned with her how to do it and it worked and he didn't even say the spell everyone else was trying because the whole point was they're trying to practice a certain spell by saying it and doing the motion like in you know, this is like by what I think movie six or something. So like, or it was five. It was one of those two. Uh, but I was like, what? When I actually saw what was going on, and they pointed out, I was like, oh my god, w yeah, wait, what? I can't feel much of anything in this. Yeah, it's really weird. But anyway, again, Silver, if you don't, if you kind of just shove that, if you can manage to shove that into the back of your head, because just just take it for the entertainment side and not the logical side. If you think about it too hard, then yeah, you're going to probably put yourself in a weird mood. If you feel that the magic using ties into the plot, which sometimes it does, I suppose, but like, if you could just take it at face value, then you'll enjoy the movies fine. You should anyway, hopefully, but... 
I just, I just, I just think it's funny. Uh, I did hunting ground, so I really don't want to do those. The hunting grounds. I kind of do want to. Really wish I could get this, but I was locked out of getting that last metal flower. No oh boy. I kind of do want to play the. <laughs> I kind of do want to play the Labor Hair part of uh, games. I never played them. The only Lego things I've ever. I think the only Lego games I've ever played. I have Lego Star Wars on GameCube. Um. I want to say we either rented or we owned for a little bit, but we probably ended up giving it away if I remember right. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones, I think, is a thing that exists. Yeah. Um, but I don't remember it too much. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Lego Batman I've played a little bit of. I wanted them. I don't remember which one. It was like two or something. Not enough skill points. I mean, if it's the magic part that's bothering you in particular, you don't have to question the logic of it. If you happen to, then you're probably not going to enjoy them very much. The first few, maybe you might, but the longer you watch them, you're probably not going to, if that's the case. But if you can at least find it to like, just be like, okay, magic's weird in this world, what the fuck ever, then yeah. you might still, you might still, they're still charming, funny, weird movies. I still like them. Just watch Chamber Secrets. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not... It's just a really good movie on its own. It is. I'm done for watching it again. Do you watch it tonight? No. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. What do. Next time I go over, you want to watch it? Uh, sure, we can do that. We'll finish up the other four as well. We watched yeah. so many movies last time I went over. Yeah, we watched too many movies, and then we don't have we don't have time to do anything because we're always watching too many movies. <laughs> but it's fun because I mean, when we're here online like this, we're we're sharing each other's screens, playing games, watching shows. So to sit back and watch movies, I, I like it. Although I do think that we should stream uh, next time as well because I, I brought my mic over and we never used it. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I'm going to check how to do this ancient armory thing. Ancient uh, armory. Ancient armory power cells. <laughs> the plot and the magic system. Again, the plots don't start to go really in depth about anything until like movies four and five onward. Movies one through three are kind of self contained for the most part. I mean, they, you can say they're probably self contained, can't you? Yeah. Um, the end of four starts to kind of set up for what the rest of the, sh the uh, franchise is going to be. And then five is okay, six is all right enough, but six and then seven, part one and two, those last three movies are where they go into fucking so much detail about the Horcruxes and Voldemort's backstory and a little bit of Dumbledore's backstory. Okay, I'm gonna gather three power cells. This is four, what? Enjoyed the Hobbit that you watched. So you watch Hobbit, but you didn't watch your. Uh, wow, okay. Only after a rewatch. First time I saw it was too you long. The Hobbit. Well, did you watch The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings? Watch all six movies, the extended cuts. Yeah, all the extended ones. 
I have I have out. the extended versions of all the Hobbit movies, but not the Lord of the Rings movies. <laughs> yeah, we found out. We did the math, and if you watch all eight Harry Potter films, all of the Star Wars, the mainline, the 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 nine Star Wars movies, um, the prequels, the uh, the originals, the prequels, and the sequels. Um, Okay. So all nine of those, all eight Harry Potter films, and all the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies. I don't. I think the not extended cuts, if I remember right. Um. We we did the math for that, and if you were to watch all of those one after another, you could get through them all in about three days straight. It's a little over three days straight. If you don't turn them off at all and you just go day and night, day and night, then you'll get through them in about like three days straight. It's like 70, like four or five hours or something like that. Yeah. Or 73 or something like that. It's fucking nuts. Fucking nuts. <laughs> so it says, I think I watched Lord of the Rings after The Hobbit because of uh, canonical order. Oh, they're prequels, aren't they? Uh, yeah, they are. Is that the best? Is that the best way to watch it, or do you have to watch? Is it recommended you watch Lord of the Rings first and then Hobbit? It doesn't really matter. Um, I guess I guess we should watch the Hobbit first, and then okay. Lord of the Rings, because like, technically. Because the way I see it too, when. When a franchise goes on and has a very established story and lore, and then they do these, like... Because Harry Potter is no stranger to it either. They've got the fucking Fantastic Beasts movies, which are prequels. But it's like, when you have this established story and lore and ongoing thing, and then you do a later project, because, like, say, like, 2000-whatever, you have this established story, and then, like, in 20, like, 13 or whatever the fuck, you know, some odd, like, decade or so later... You do it's a follow-up show it comes after the original but it says it's set like years or however long before and it's a prequel well now while it's your chance while it's the showrunner's chance to like whatever they might have hinted at that's lore based or made jokes about or made endearing characters out of shit that happened in past stuff from the original show they can then show that in the, in the prequel show but then you start making, but you have the potential also on the other side of the coin to like start creating plot holes or whatever because now you have to remember that you have to you made this lore before, now you gotta start shaping it with the stuff that comes before the original show and that can get kind of bizarre yeah Um, I can't think of any direct examples of that, but I'm sure there there probably are. I just can't think of anything off the top of my head at this moment. So because those movies, those Hobbit movies were like in the 2010s, but they came way after the Lord of the Rings films, but they're supposed to take place before. Like, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Well, I mean, like, it, the only part that's weird about it is that The Hobbit was a very short book. Um, uh -huh. And they made it into three movies. Like, that's the only weird part. That's what my mom said. My, my mom's seen, uh, I don't think she's seen all The Hobbits, or I don't know if, yeah, I don't know if she's seen all of them, but she loves Lord of the Rings. Uh, she was just, we were just about that recently, actually. It was, it was when we were trying to find something to watch on HBO Max, and because... The Lord of the Rings and Hobbit stuff were on there too. We we passed by it, and she was talking to me about it, and she was saying how she grew up with the Lord of the Rings books. As she, I don't know if she might have read The Hobbit as well, but uh, she was saying yeah that it was a weird choice. She didn't really care for that choice to spread it across three movies when it was just a short book. <laughs> yeah. But the 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 Lord of the Rings books were still relatively new when she read them as like a kid or whatever. So. She knows her stuff. She likes the movies. Yeah. I 
didn't watch uh, Lord of the Rings when it first came out. Um, my dad saw them in theaters, and then uh, we we got them later, like on DVD, and I watched them. I was like, okay, I'll watch these. <laughs> like these, are, these are cool. I like them. I think I watched them. Um. Oh no, because I, I was watching them, like, I watched them with my dad. Because it's like, uh -huh. oh, you've never seen Lord of the Rings. And then, um, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll watch it. And then, uh, we had them on DVD, and then we were watching them. And we're just like, oh, these are, like, th these are cool. And then, um, I remember I was, like, I was scared of some things. I was like, oh, it's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you had the patience to sit down and watch them, because when my mom tried to get me to watch them with her when I was younger, I just didn't have... I was just confused, and it, it felt like it was just running on, so I didn't really have the patience for it at the time. I would never sit... I would always see scenes and then get bored and want to go play or do something. But if we're going to sit down and be serious about watching them, then I think I should hopefully have a better attention span. You'll have to fill me in as we go along and whatnot. Um, but I, I think I should be able to stomach it now and be able to do it. Yeah. I just think it's mind-boggling how, like, they just, the extended cuts and all that, and how they're just so long, like, why, 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 why are they so long? I don't know, but, like, they do add things that I think it needed, because without that, it's just, like, people were saying, this doesn't make any sense without, um, like, without the extended cut actually being a thing. It's like, it's like, how, how could they have, like, maybe even hypothetically shorten those films to where it, it didn't have to be extended for it to make sense so instead of it being like deleted scenes or whatever but like how would you have like done it how much lore and plot could they have possibly have mashed in there but to where like how could they have put those scenes would there have been a way to where they could they could put those scenes in and the movies could still be like maybe two two and a half hours that's not too long but when it goes bordering on fucking three or so and then extended cuts just make them longer or whatever. Like, that's when it gets weird. Yeah. Where the fuck am I going? This is so weird. This is all new. I've never been in here. And all these like new data points. Yeah, they're really long, but, um, it's, like, it's so funny. My, my dad likes to make fun of, uh, the, the Return of the King, because, like, the, the ending is three hours. <laughs> it's really not. The ending is, like, one hour, but, like, the whole movie is, like, three hours. <laughs> over three hours. Yeah. <clears throat> it feels like, because it's, it's all technically an ending, so... Really weird. Um, I like it. the Return of the King is my favorite one. The the two towers is the most boring. <laughs> Oh, 
almost boring, but you know, whatever. Uh, Gollum, I guess. He says, I love Gollum. He looks around, he blinks, he smiles. He gets angry. Like, straight up my favorite character, probably. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I like I like weird weird fuckers like that, so. We like Jar Jar. Uh, unironically, like, you legitimately like him. I love Jar Jar. There's a, wait, that's a middle flower. That is a middle flower. What the fuck? I want the middle flower. Do the Adora thing. Go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. That's my you fucking trophy. It? That's my fucking trophy for all the metal flowers. Yes, I finally got the trophy. Yay. I thought I was locked out of getting the last metal flower, but it looks like I actually got the one that I thought I lost. <laughs> I'm glad. That's awesome. God, I was I was after that trophy for so long. Oh my god, I'm glad that you could you could do it on stream. Man, that's fun shit. <laughs> that is an absolute win. As the weekend does, all right, I guess. Just trying to prep for the barbecue we did yesterday. It turned out all right. Uh, I made some pretty good burgers. I haven't had my hot dogs yet, though. I'm going to try one later. Because, yeah, I, I remembered how you said you don't like the black on it, and it kind of got black on both sides. Yeah. Oh, there's my power cell. Awesome. Yeah, another power cell. If I find more, I should be able to get to that ancient armor I found. Also, I left them in there for quite a while, uh, so they kind of inflated a little bit and got kind of poofy looking. <laughs> Nice. So now I'm wondering how they're going to taste. I got to heat them up again, though. I didn't have one yesterday when I first made them. I should have probably. It's when they're the best, I think, in my opinion. Now is it telling me to go? Here? So now I can finally get that reward box. All the metal flowers. I'm so happy I finally got that trophy for the metal flowers. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 the question you posed, if it's still the case, uh, I don't want to date this or be weird with it. Uh, on your original title of this stream is true. It's still good. <laughs> no, I'm not going to change the title. Okay. <laughs> no, I, di I didn't think that like, this game would suddenly be bad after the second one. There's no way. Like, people saying that this game well, is I wouldn't, unplayable. I would imagine so. That is a lie. This game is amazing. People are just very, are unfortunately only forward thinking, and a lot of people tend to not look back on stuff. Right, and they can't like stomach the thought of going back to a thing. Temple, okay. Watch. I don't remember if I got it in there. Maybe I did. Hmm. Account NGT. 
at ACCNGT yesterday said, I'm looking at this, uh, I don't know if this is real or not. I'm just looking at this article. Over the course of the past year, a number of different rumors have started to emerge that PlayStation is working on a fifth Game of the Sly Cooper series at this point in time. While we have yet to receive actual confirmation from those at Sony that this will be transpiring, it now looks like we have an idea of when this new game could be announced. So, mm. at, at ACCNGT, their tweet was, According to a source for Sly, they are aiming for a reveal in the second half of 2022, which makes sense since later this year is Sly's 20th anniversary. All right. Well, according to a source. That's interesting. I'm going to be I'm gonna be very excited. That's true. <laughs> I mean, there was that tease, that very crash-esque tease in that last PlayStation ad where they had the little uh but then they're gonna be like it's nothing like the first game still and i'm gonna be like i know (laughs) (laughs) but hopefully not as fucking unbearably weird as the fucking third game god we uh we need to record more we we should record more tonight yeah I, i was i was uh wondering when you wanted to do more oh boy (laughs) <laughs> that's just just oh my god i'm so upset that game is so upsetting <laughs> god i hope you play a good game after this yeah I'm gonna play oh, this. I, <laughs> I i really want to see you either stream or play for a, a patreon exclusive playthrough uh fucking uh mind of a mutant I think of I think you'll just I don't know when the last time you played it was, but I, I really want to see you play it at some point. Just whenever. I might. <clears throat> Wait, I need to go into the People, yeah, this this article goes on to say, like, for now, one of the biggest questions surrounding the return of Sly Cooper involves the way in which the series would come back. Because of these in time, uh, continuing the storyline seen in the original trilogy, whether or not PlayStation would like to continue the story after Thieves in Time with a new game on PS5, or if it would instead opt to reboot the series as a whole, is something a number of fans have considered, have wondered about in recent months. But because of how this time ended on a major cliffhanger, though, it seems to make more sense for a new installment to pick up on, to pick up after the events of the last game. So it would effectively be a sci five. Yeah. Aha. So that means Sly 4 existed. Sorry, all you people who hate it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see a remaster of the first game. Me too. Nothing else extra included, just the first game redone. It, it really, it really felt very good. But if they can make it somehow even uh, feel even more refined and look uh, really cool with just you know PS5 graphics, I wouldn't mind that at all. All right, now I'm inside the temple. Where do I go? The anointed. Goddess protect her so she can cleanse the corruption that still infects the land. Outdoor. Outdoor ventilation. Okay. You know, Nick might have come out to say that SpongeBob was ace, but like, I don't think fucking. I, I think the uh, 
constant. Maybe he kind of likes Squidward, but also fucking burns the shit out of him with all these like insults. Like it begs to differ because there are funny little moments throughout the series where he'll just he'll just indirectly fucking completely diss Squidward in a really funny way. <laughs> it's very, very rare, but when it happens, it's it's really funny. I think I actually did I get it in here? I must have I must have gotten it because I don't see it. I guess that was in my prison. Right. Yeah, I, was, I was watching this little clip from uh, Sponge on the Run, and it's really funny because uh, I think I think it's starting to happen to Tom Kenny now because he's getting older. He's been fucking voicing SpongeBob for like twenty years, twenty plus years at this point. Uh, Spongebob's voice is just the tiniest bit deeper in that movie <laughs> and it's so funny because like you'll think back to like early seasons and he sounded really really nasally and high pitched and I, I was watching this clip right here, this really short clip and his voice does sound just a little bit deeper I think it's really funny it's funny Okay, I need to go to Maker's End. How many? I, I keep forgetting. How many of the Spongebob movies have you seen? Uh, two. You haven't seen the You haven't seen uh, the third one? No. We should definitely watch the third one. Wait, which which one's the third one? Uh, Sponge on the Run. Sponge on the Run. Okay. Sponge on the Run. All right. Sponge on the Run. You say that like Sponge you say of... Crash on the Run. <laughs> How am I supposed to say it? Because you put the emphasis on Sponge instead of Run, which I find funny. Well, that depends on where it is in the sentence, or if that is the sentence. Sponge on the run. Yeah, see, you said it right there. <laughs> sponge, sponge on the run. Sponge on the run. Sponge on the run. <laughs> <sighs> God damn it. Where's what was it going to say? It must be ancient room. Actually, Flaming Gamer, I've been paying attention, and you did say that already. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I going to say? Uh, first movie is best. Sorry. Uh, that's just fact. <laughs> um, no, but uh, I, I really love the first movie. I saw it in theaters. It was awesome. I saw the second movie in theaters, Sponge Out of Water. I saw the second oh. movie in theaters. That's the only one I've seen in theaters. Um, I was actively very, very hyped. I think it was for my 10th birthday, I think. Um, when did that movie come out? Let's see. The first movie came out in 2004. Uh, okay, so my ninth birthday, I think it might have been. Yeah. Okay. Um, Not, I, I don't think directly on, but I think it was like the weekend or so or a few days before, but it was it was supposed to be for my birthday. Uh, we went to go see um, the first movie. So I remember it very fondly. And then I remember, then they were like, we're making a new Spongebob movie. And I was like, what the fuck? And then they were like, oh, it's, look at this, look at this CGI. Look, they're superheroes. And I was like, oh boy, that's, that's fucking weird. <laughs> but obviously, if you've seen it, thankfully, um, that's only like a climax third act 
yeah. part of the movie. Most of it's 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 a good movie. I thought it was funny. It is funny. There were parts of it that felt like classic SpongeBob. Yeah, that's what I liked about it. it actually, felt like old SpongeBob. Like it felt way bigger scale as a movie to a show it's should feel, good. but it felt like an extended episode. It felt like a hour and a half long episode or something. Um, and then yeah, with well, seeing them in, seeing them in really good looking CGI is cool, but that part of the movie gets a little funky sometimes the more i look at it and it just feels very dated in a lot of areas like even the promo uh artwork or not artwork sorry the promo uh posters for the for that movie uh is all about just dating it because they made they did parodies of a bunch of different stuff um they're parodying other movies in their promotional posters uh, one of which was obviously the Avengers. One of which, bizarrely enough, was Fifty Shades of Grey, and that was a little weird. <laughs> That's very weird. I was like, "What? Why? Why? Why'd you do that?" But uh, besides that, uh. They somehow I have no idea how this happened. They uh, uh got a nice Peter and Epic Lloyd in the movie, and then likewise, uh, the end of the film is just a parody of Epic Rap Battles. Huh. I'm not kidding, <laughs> uh, which I found to be very fucking bizarre. I love Epic Rap Battles history, but that, that, that I don't think SpongeBob when I think of Epic Rap Battles, so now I do, and it's very <laughs> weird to say. Um, and then I just barely watched uh, Sponge on the Run. Uh, I got the movie for Christmas, or Vic got it for Christmas. One of the, one of us got it for Christmas, and then we watched it like early January or something. And we were like, "This is a funky feeling movie." I love the animation, but it's it's very bizarre. Oh, you got a scale of building all the way up. Okay. No, Atlantis Square Pantas was a special. The the elongated episodes, like uh, Truth or Square. Sometimes I count specials as movies. Not always, but sometimes. I mean, I I, I understand why, um, because I have a lot of those ones on DVD. I think was SpongeBob could fly. Was that one a special? It might have been. Luther Square, I remember. Um, yeah, I like to Square Pants is, is a special. I like the Atlantis uh, yeah. one. That one was, was cool. It was funny. Um, I mean, okay. they can be movies in their own right, but I mean, they're not theatrical films, you know? So. Yeah. No, no. The second Spider-Man movie was a uh, sponge out of water. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, the, the ERB parody wasn't a, didn't have SpongeBob in it. See, the movie didn't know where to end, even though it did have a pretty okay, clear ending. But it just wouldn't end because then they do a reprisal of the Spongebob theme song but then they stop halfway through to do an ERB parody and then they just go right back to the ending of the theme song and it's just so bizarre. I have no idea why they did that. It kind of killed a little bit for me by the end of it. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I can't tell what area I'm supposed to be in. Uh, JPP's here. Hello. Oh, hello. Easy, easy. Jay also wants to know what your thoughts are on Jalobi, the giant spider from Lord of the Rings. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I said that name right. <laughs> Shalo. Sh is it Shalobe? Shalo what? Sh I know. I know the. I know that spider's name. 
Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> Shelob. 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 Yeah, that's it. Um, the uh, it's, it's I don't know. It's creepy, I guess. <laughs> Who would win in a fight? Shilob or the... I forget the name of the spider from uh, Harry Potter. Aragog? Yeah. Aragog's easy to remember. <laughs> um, yeah, Shilob. <laughs> Shilob. Yeah, Jenny also wrote it as two words. Shilob. <laughs> In here, please. Uh, I think Aragog would win because Aragog talks <laughs> and has a cool voice. Don't get anywhere this way. Oh shit! I just realized. Wait. Release date on DVD or release date in theaters? Oh, no, it was probably in theaters. Sorry, I was looking at the release date for the first SpongeBob movie. Uh -huh. Okay, release date, but what's, what was the, the theatrical date? So much for being careful. SpongeBob movie, I think, was when I. Oh. Wait, no, that's that's the release date. Is it released what on in theaters or in on fucking DVD? Well, then why don't you just go to Wikipedia? Well, that's what I'm trying. That, that's what I'm doing. It says November nineteenth, but that's not anywhere near my birthday. And I saw it. It was for my birthday. In theaters, so it had to have been like it had to have started like in late July or August. Aww. What did the trailer say? I don't remember. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Remember it was released. Oh, I just see it just says release. I don't know if that means theatrically. But um, yeah, I think it was, I want to say it was a SpongeBob movie or a different movie where I started to realize when I was little, um, oh, hey, movies have like a good three to four months in the theater before they get released on DVD. Which is why, in hindsight, it wouldn't make sense for me to have seen it if it came out on DVD in November of 2004, then for my birthday, it would have still been in theaters uh, in August. Yeah. But I think because of how everything is since 2020, uh, I think nowadays, movies spend less time in theaters. I think even before the pandemic, it was... Uh, no, it was starting to get, like... Yeah, it, it was already before. starting to get there when it was like they wouldn't spend long in theaters at all before they got released on DVD. Like it used to be like you had to wait like a year. Fuck. Before I don't remember that. Like, released on DVD. No, like I remember waiting so long for certain movies to be released on DVD. But also as a kid, because you're doing a lot of stuff like with school and whatever, uh, time just felt really slow in general. Like, summer vacation would feel like the longest fucking thing, and now it doesn't because I'm out of school and I just go to work now. So, like, my life's been the same in terms of that for, like, the last few years. <laughs> so it always yeah. feels like the years are going by faster than they probably actually are. Um. But as a kid, because you have a certain set schedule for school, uh, did you like my little alliteration there? <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> then you have some vacation. Like, it just feels like you have a lot of time off and you get to finally hang out with friends and stuff and have to worry about homework and tests. And then before you know it, you got to go back to Target or wherever, at Walmart, and start fucking getting school supplies again. I can't climb on that. God. God damn it, where am I supposed to go? I can't find this picture. It doesn't look familiar. I 
this. Your maker's end. Your maker's end once you've scaled the building. But what building? That building or that building? This must be a power cell that I have to get. It said I need three. I need one. There's one that's not where it's supposed to be. And since I've already got the one in the temple, it's not there. And this must be one of them. I can't figure out how to scale the building because I don't know what building they're talking about. Ugh, the scrapes. Uh, real quick, I need to use the restroom, but also I gotta put my uh, um, my little window screen back uh, onto my window so i will do that real quick and then i'll be right oh, back okay Must be up there somewhere. Can't find where I'm supposed to be. Nothing looks familiar about the picture. This is Maker's End. Can't climb this. Okay, hold on. You know what? I look for video. I don't know how to do this. I don't know where this is. I don't know this location.
Okay. I'm going to actually follow the trail this time. All right, see you, Silver. Okay. Okay. I am back. Raven's in here, and also, see you later, Silver. The actual fuck? What is it telling me to do? What? Right next to the little dot. Okay. I'm very curious to see how Conquer would have become if it stayed uh, 12 Tales or Conquer's Quest. Yeah. So I'm looking at some footage right here, and I think it's really funny how it got criticized for being too cutesy and too similar to Banjo. So they said, okay, fuck you. We're going to make this game gory as hell and very profane. Uh. You know, a sunflower with big boobs. very funny. This, all right, all right, all right. No room. Okay, into this area. Where it tells me to go. <laughs> All right, now I gotta find a building to scale. Doesn't quite look like the area. Not get up there. Okay. Oh, fall damage. Pair with elves.
What if you collected a power cell and then you did the Jack and Daxter victory animation? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. She, she starts uh, break dancing the Daxter. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the little jingle plays. Only there are as easy to find. All right. Is this the area I'm supposed to be in? The skin doesn't have grapple yet, huh? No. That's right. No grapple, no gliding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snow chill, bitches. Oh, oh. We went around to a completely different location. So aside from the crafting and all that, um, is there anything else you yeah. can think of that this game did better than Forbidden West that you uh, wish was? Or no, no, that well, I mean, yeah. Besides that, and besides the obvious upgrades, is there anything else that you, while playing this one again here right now, have you been noticing anything else? Maybe that you might have been like, oh, well, this like wasn't in Forbidden West. Like you try to do a thing, and you're like, oh shit, I can't do that. Uh, not exactly. Nothing that I've, like, been, nothing that I actually, like, tried to do and couldn't do. Like, nothing like that. Okay. Was it mainly those two, crafting and mounts? Uh, yeah, it's, like, crafting, mounts, and, like, some, uh... Like, like, some of the parkour, I guess? Like, because about the climbing, I guess it felt more... It feels, like, a little more consistent in this game, because, like, you can... Because you look at stuff that you can climb on, because, like, you know, you could see... You can see what you can climb on, like, obviously you can climb on, like, ladders and stuff, but, like, that's, like, yellow. You, like, you can climb on all this yellow stuff. And you're like, okay, I can climb on that. And then... Forbidden West has this thing where you can, like, climb on almost everything? Like, uh -huh. not really? Because, like, you'll, you'll see, like, the side of a wall, and it'll have, like, all these like, yellow things over it. And you're just like, okay, I could sort of, like, climb anywhere I want up this mountain. But at the same time, you kind of can't. Because, like, it, it's not really... It, it doesn't feel like it, it, it flows, I guess? Because you're trying to climb, and then, like, you're grabbing onto, like, one part, um, but then it's like... Like oh I want to go over here but then she's just like nah I don't I don't want to go over there like I'll go the other way instead of like the way that you're telling me to go and I'm like okay why are you doing uh -oh. that like you just go like the complete opposite direction that like that you tell her to go it's just it's it's very uh -huh. weird and then sometimes there there are climbing points they're like climbing points on a wall. And then you're just like, but there's no reason for these climbing points to be here because you can't climb. It's not like you can climb out or not like you can climb on anything. So what's the point of these climbing points to even be here? <laughs> it's just, it's just very weird. Like, I felt like they tried to do more, but at the same time, like, that almost felt like less. Uh-huh. Like, they they try to do more for, like, pointless reasons. Like, very weird. Squeeze through. Crack. What the hell? What do you... Where do you want me to go? <laughs> that sounds funny out of context. Squeeze through. Crack. <laughs> Fuck. Over here? Okay, wait. 
this is clearly the position that they were in here. Okay, they're in front of a big rock. This this big rock, or is it another big rock? It is in here. Oh yeah, yeah, here. What was I supposed to find that? <laughs> Let me watch on the playback. Let's see what you had to do. Squeeze the crew. Also, this doesn't look like anything like what the other picture showed me. I'd have to ditch something. The other thing told me to like scale a building and the power cell is at the top. This is showing me something completely different. I haven't even been in here. Is it showing you one that was out of order? Like the third one or something? Power core number three, Maker's End. No, this is the same one. No. Oh. No, apparently... No, it's the same thing. Yeah, scale up a building, but you just have to go through... You have to go through all of this first. But the other thing didn't show me that. It just said... It just said, go to Maker's End and, like... And you'll just find it. But I didn't <laughs> know. Clearly not, since I have to go through this entire underground bunker first. They didn't even mention that. Sorry. Now I'm looking for a way to get outside. Got too much already. I'd really like if this was actually deactivated for now. For me. Go that way. Oh, nice. You're going to get a new floor put in. This is Fleming Gamer. Oh, cool. You know, we, we had some carpet uh, laid down in our living room and in the hallway like years ago. And we ended up uh, ripping it all out and scrubbing underneath because we had tile underneath the carpet. Um, 
So we ripped all that stuff out and we uh, scrubbed and cleaned really thoroughly. And it still looks pretty good. <laughs> that was way back in like 2015 or something like that. Open that door. Uh, what did I come up here for? <gasps> God fucking damn it. What's what's the way outside? Okay, yes, yeah, so I went through there, went through there. Okay, yes, okay, I went up that ladder, yes. Oh, I didn't go the other way. Go the other way. The opposite oh. way. Wait, now I have to fucking find the ladder again. It's not there. No, okay, it's not there. Did I fall too far down? Yes, I did. Feels like a rubber balloon puzzle. This way. Go here, okay. Across there. Then go up that ladder. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Where was that ladder? Now I'm outside. Freezing here. here. Yeah, because in this one, when you're climbing, all you have to do is like hold, like hold the analog stick in one direction, and she'll just go in that direction. Uh huh. 
but and then like but in Forbidden West it's kind of like you have to be precise like you have to be real perfect because if so like it's kind of hard to explain um say that I was doing uh this here I'm gonna um it's it's hard to explain if I don't do it like this Okay, never mind, I'm too far. But, um, okay, so say I was, like, climbing, um, and, like, I was climbing something straight up, but then there's, like, a part that I want to, like, move over to, um, mm -hmm. but, like, the part that goes straight up is, like, slightly above the part that you want to move over to, uh, so if you're at the top, and you just want to, like, like, move over to that other side. Like, in Forbidden West, if you're at the top, she won't do it. She just won't do it. But, like, you have to be level with it. You have to be exactly level with it in order for her to move over. Yeah, remember that one part you were doing with the drone? And it was very bizarre how you were trying to get up there. It was a very obvious thing to the right that I could see you were trying to get to, but she yeah, just wouldn't she just register wouldn't going do that it way. For some reason. Yeah, that's very and, like, weird. and then finally, and then finally, she did it. I don't know what I did differently. I didn't do anything differently. I, I, I yeah, that was weird. Some jury, uh... Yeah, like this, like this right here. Like, see how I'm like slightly above this, uh, like this thing over here, and I'm just all I'm doing is like tapping analog, just going back and forth. If that is not level with it, like, she just kind of won't move over to it. Like, all I have to do is tap it and, like, automatically she'll go to it. Like, for Minimus, it just doesn't happen. Sometimes she just, just doesn't respond. I wonder if they'll patch it. If enough people feel that same way, I wonder if they'll patch it to where it feels more like this, like how you're doing right there. I feel like, I feel like nobody else is having this issue, which is, like, really weird, actually. Well, it's weird, especially because I can see it. I know I see what you mean. Yeah, she just won't respond in Forbidden West sometimes. I, I just remember that one example. And obviously, since you're bringing it up, there, there were more examples, but I saw it uh, very uh, plainly in that one instance. And sometimes when you want to jump, um, when you want to jump to an area, like what I just did there, and what I'm doing now, like, if I just, like, jump, and then, like, she'll just kind of, like, grab on. And it's, like, easy in this game. If you want to jump, she'll pretty much grab on to whatever's in front of her. Uh -huh. But if, if we're in West, like, sometimes you'll jump, and it'll be like, nope. It's like, no, you have to, like, you have to run and jump. You have to get a running start first. Like, what? You shouldn't have to. <laughs> I had trouble with that in the, like, in the damn tutorial section. Because, like, there's one part, it's like, no, she just, like, won't grab on if you don't get a running start first. And by running start, I don't mean, like, regular running start. I mean, like, actually, like, holding down the sprint button as a running start. Oh, my God. This area being okay. 
full already. And the grapple sometimes is like finicky as well. Is it? Yeah, because like, like if you see a like you'll you'll see like a grapple um, like icon appear, and then if you move like it'll disappear, and then so like you have sometimes you have to get it in the exact right spot. Like when I'm trying to climb that one tower in Vegas, like the the really tall one. Yeah. Um. Power cell. It's like, it's dumb, because you can't get, unless you're in, like, the perfect spot, you can't grapple up to the very top. I wonder why it's that much more precise now. It would be cool if I could glide down. <laughs> <laughs> but then there's the downside. Yeah, I feel like the the climbing, the climbing is a lot more responsive in this game than it is in Forbidden West. Uh huh. It seems to be that way. No space. All right. There's my other power cell. Um, the other one is at the grade point. Uh, but are you kidding me? Oh. Let's go. Um, uh, the grave. Grave for this. Can travel here. There we go. Okay, great cord. Where does this one tell me to go? It'll probably tell me to go to a place where I have no idea where it is. down to the ruins and then reset the thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah. 
already all of them, I think, why? No. Down here, I believe. A quick way down. Yeah, okay. Okay. We go into one door that I have to open. This is the thing. Maybe if I can go down. Okay. Well, I think it's here. This little thing. It's not the door, is it? like no that looks like it but uh power cell's already gone so I already got it but then that doesn't make sense because I still need a third power cell oh what's this Okay. All right. Well, um okay, I guess I guess I got that one already. Um guess the other power cell would be Gaia Prime. Alright, I guess the other power cell would have to be here. If it's not here, then I have no idea. Uh, John asks, worst gumball episode? Uh, I don't know. I haven't come across any that I didn't really particularly like. But then again, I've only watched like... Yeah, I've only watched like half the show. There's like, what, six or so seasons? And I've only seen up to like season three. Because it was, it was before season four even was a thing, so I had cut up to it. So I was watching them online, and then they made more, and I was like, "Oh fuck, there are a bunch more seasons, and I haven't seen them all." But they're all on, I think, either HBO Max or Hulu or both, so I can watch them now. All right, I need to go down into the ruins. <sighs> this won't go 
quietly. So the show in the last episode has quite a cliffhanger and at one point sometime after the show ended people were speculating a movie was going to be made to conclude it uh they what they oh as i was gonna say they, they did say that a movie was supposed to come out for gumball Fuck i don't know when yes. though you asshole Damn it, I hate Glen Hawks. I hate them. God, they're the worst in this game. I fucking hate them. Luckily, they go down with fire ammo, but Jesus Christ, they're the worst. Oh, where even are you? I have to go to a, another location for a power cell. And of course, they sent me on top of a cliff or I'm, I'm trying to climb the cliff and there are like fucking a bunch of glit hawks on my ass it sucks the snow's got a bite out here How many power cells do you need? I just need three. I just need one more. There's five in total. I guess I already had two. God, um, you know how like when you eat something cold and you can kind of feel it in your gums? Yes. I just have that feeling in my gums for some reason. I don't know why. Huh. It's gonna bother me. Well, my question to Fleming Gamer is, was Gumball cancelled or did it properly end? Probably not if it ended on a cliffhanger, so I don't know. It's also a weird idea to think that it would end on a cliffhanger, seeing as most of the show is episodic, so that's very weird. Yeah, that's... I don't understand. I mean, because they sort of try to do a little bit of a story at one point, from what I understand, but I haven't seen much of those, again, later seasons to get the full context. Because they went through, like, a... Uh, there, was one, there was one standalone episode where they went through, like, this alternate little weird dimension where it's the stuff that's been thrown out that the world, the literal world, rejects certain things, like trends or fads or people... And they just and the world will just pocket these things or these people into like some weird alternate little dimension if they're forgotten or whatever. So they go 
to find like this one little friend slash secondary character that the show acknowledges in this fourth wall way that she's like a secondary character or whatever, or not even secondary, like a side character or whatever. And they go to find her. And apparently they, I think from what I remember, they visit that area again in a later episode. And then there's this dude that pops out and he's like kind of glitchy looking. So they have like an on and off rivalry with him. And I've, I've just seen clips from there on out. So I don't know how all that, I don't know if it has anything to do with that guy or what is, I don't even know what his name is. I don't remember. I don't know if it has to do with him or if it's something completely different. Picture shows right here. Okay. Here's part of the quest climb up the yellow ladder, enter the workshop, climb down elevator shaft, held down into. Which one does it say to go? Power cell? There it is. All right. The last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. Sweet. Very cool. Armory. New or it was. Okay, ancient armory. Two power cells. Okay. Okay, some power cells, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know where it is. But where is the ancient armory? Turn to the lab. Okay, return to the lab, but where's the lab? Okay, I found all the power cells. How about that? Thanks, Fleming Gamer. I always enjoy your stream. It's very nice to watch you enjoy the combos y'all go into. Yay. <laughs> If this stream's proven anything, either we, uh, I, I let me hard play and we're like almost dead silent for like 30, 40 minutes straight. 
or then we're having like really 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 in-depth conversations yeah it's kind of weird when you get silent though because then i don't know what to say sorry because i'm i'm, I'm torn between watching you and just kind of just scrolling through twitter a little bit sometimes twitter helps me find conversations to talk about but uh I was just like reading stuff or like watching like little weird things on loop. <laughs> My bad. Here, I'll 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 close out Twitter. Well, because also chat helps me with conversations. There's only a few people in here for now, or at least talking. What would you like to talk about next? I don't know. How are you today? <laughs> Pretty good, I guess. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Okay, now I go to the lab bunker. Not that it's bunker and the lab are the same place. The game where you really do love uh, the chills and Charles Entertainment Cheese bits. Yeah. Although I, I like that your Charles Entertainment Cheese bits mainly just boil down to what he does at his business. But whenever we make fun of him, no, it's like, like well, yeah, because you need to other random shit. You need to understand the fundamentals of Charles Entertainment Cheese in order <laughs> in order to make weird jokes. He always points the jokes towards the job about kids but when we talk about them it's not even about that it's more about the family it's more about like wife amy and obadiah yeah he's obadiah's little fucking demon child he's like hello diddy that's where tasty daddy came from yeah We're like, it's your tasty daddy. tasty daddy and i still i still remember the the origin of Goku deep diving into Freeze's ass, but uh, <laughs> I, I remember we were playing CTR. I still have that saved on my PS4 where I was saying, like, that's what Goku says when he deep dives into Freeze's ass. He says, Tasty Daddy. <laughs> I laugh really hard. Did that start? Okay, it was okay. It obviously started with us. That joke had to have, had to have originated from us watching the show. Yes, but I'm trying to remember, apparently. but I'm trying to remember, like, what happened i'm not gonna remember what episode it was but it's like what happened to where we made that know. joke maybe goku was flying towards frieza and frieza was just like like his back was turned towards him or something so he like looked behind him I don't like over think his we shoulder said it for any specific reason you just said it because it was funny i mean like did i <laughs> here i mean that'd be kind of weird to me to just randomly say hey what if goku just deep dove into frieza's asshole that sounds a little too weird for me to just say without any like build up to it. <laughs> this is more like a rent yeah, thing to say. <laughs> I know. All powered up. Now to get the dials in position. There must be some kind of code. Now did I also the flaming gamer talking about lava lamps? Uh, I remember I, I got a lava lamp from uh it was a little arcade place. I don't know if it was John's Incredible Pizza or if it was Shakey's or something. But I had gotten a lava lamp as a prize a long time ago. And it was it looked really cool in my room. And then it yeah, I got old and it wasn't it wasn't good no more. This <laughs> is there did it let's have a look at that armor inside these numbers they must be related to segments of a circle what 
All right. Now let's see what we can do with this material. Have you completed the ancient armory? No. Now I have this armor. Uh, okay, it's not showing up. Your outfit box, okay. Have a box, let me see. Where do we have a box? Okay, here we go. Oh, and I got a trophy for that. Good. Yay. Okay, it looks like I just got a... Huh. It's like I... Yeah, I, j I just got an outfit for doing all that. And a trophy. But it's not even Ooh. an outfit that, I'm, that I want to wear. <laughs> well, what would be, I mean, considering too how I had you do the, the Kratos face paint thing in the second game, what would you consider a very endearing gift or reward for doing like a basically a fucking little collectathon there, having to go and get stuff? Um, for, what would your idea be for that in, in a Horizon game? Like a really cool weapon. Um, okay. Or. Or, or really cool armor that looks like this, that looks cute. <laughs> you know, they're not going to make cute armor like that for tasks. They're going to try to make them look all badass and whatever. That Th would be this cool. This is badass. People need to realize that midriff bearing armor is badass. No, it is. It really is. But their idea is going to be like, it has to be like this full suit and it's got to look really colorful and crazy. And it's like, well, that could be cool, but sometimes it doesn't look all that great. Sometimes it could look cool. Yeah. At the Tartarus armor in uh, Immortals looks pretty badass, and it's a full suit. Yeah, I but, mean, uh, even like if this if this armor that I just got was like a like a full suit, like a cool helmet, and it looked all technological, I'd be like, that's pretty cool. Mhm. Mm because I thought that's I mean that's kind of what it looked like when I picked it up back there. I was like, whoa, am I gonna get to wear that? But no, she just turns it into something that like looks like a, an outfit from this game. <laughs> oh, a typical Horizon outfit. Like, nothing yeah. cool. Nothing stand out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nothing like a this. mad chemist. Nothing like the awesome Harja Blazon. <laughs> Harja Blazon heavy. If my tummy don't show, then it's a no go. Exactly. <laughs> that's that. Well, but that's me with that's me with all the armor, though. Use corruption. So this is why I always love playing around with corruption ammo. Because now the machines will start attacking each other. Huh. Oh, I love it. So great. I'll have them fight each other. They will not want to kill me. Oh my god. They're visceral. Unfortunately, corruption ammo was something that they got rid of. 
Forbidden West. This is like corruption ammo is now acid ammo. It like oh, it looks yeah, the yeah. same. It has the same. It has the same icon. But it's not the same thing. But it is not the same thing, though. I always make sure I, I like to have like every type of every type of ammo. I got one shot, bam. Uh, I guess. Oh, I can go back to uh, Meridian and give the metal flowers to the guy. I think he's a Meridian. Is he a Meridian? <laughs> he's in, uh, what are the other bunch of places? There's Meridian, and then there's like. Uh, Sunfall? I think Sunfall. Let me see. Uh, well, Mad Canvas Snowman. I was already uh, played through Forbidden West, and uh, I played through it twice. To... Yeah, yeah, Jesus. And, and uh, she just wants to come back to this one. Uh, throughout this stream, we've been talking about uh, things that Forbidden West did better, but mostly also things that um, the first game did better. <laughs> yeah. What it omitted that it shouldn't have. Yeah. What it changed that didn't really need changing because it was way more convenient in this one. Yeah. There's no reading. Paul Nick. Yeah, I think, I think he's no reading. The tall neck. Where is this possible? So are they really just treated as lookout points and that's like kind of it? Um, yeah, kind of, uh, the weird thing is, okay, so I think this game also did tall necks better, um, because in this game, when you get, when you get a tall neck, um, the land around it, all of the land around it clears on the map, and it, it, uh -huh. it like, actually clears, but in Forbidden West, it, like, it opens up like little um like little points of interest you could now see the points of interest but the land around it is still foggy yeah like i'm just like why is it like why is it still foggy though like that's the that's the thing <laughs> i liked it's like i, I want to be able to see the entire map like i can here um Oh, uh, no worries, Mad Chemist. I was just saying, like, earlier in the stream, we were talking a lot about, uh, just those types of things. One of our many topics of conversation. You know Maybe he's not a collect of collectibles. I wonder if that's him. I don't know if that's him. Um, he might not be in Meridian. Uh... No, he is. Okay, I was right. Okay. I'd, pr I'd probs might get a lava lamp again one day. You should. That'd be cool. Get a big one. Also, why not why not stream Forbidden West? It's because it's not as convenient for me to stream that one because I have it on my PS5, which is staying downstairs. I tried to bring it up here, it's too heavy. Oh man. That's why you need me there. I'll help you. But yeah, but at the same time, don't. I don't want I don't want to do that. Because then I'll have to put it <laughs> I'll have to put it back downstairs. Back. Yeah. No, I get it. And I don't, I don't like to stream from downstairs anymore. Yeah. 
make sense. All right, chat and girlfriend, what should I get? Uh, soda or beer? Beer? Uh, no, soda. <laughs> she said that very enthusiastically. So you, should, you should get a beer and say, I don't want this, and then put it back. <laughs> and it's white and labeled beer. <laughs> Generic beer. Now we bought a 12 pack. Oh, no, it was a 12 pack or was it a six, eight? There was some mod pack, I don't fucking know, of uh, Bud Light Lime. So it's not even like beer beer. It's not even like a like a hard ass whatever. It's just, it's Bud Light. 7 Up. Look at Ferris back. 7 Up. Well, um, the soda that we have in the fridge is uh, off brand Sprite. It's just called lem Lemon Lime Soda or Lime Soda or whatever. Uh, I'll go see what we have in the fridge. I will, uh, I'll be or be. Everyone dude. needs a splash of color in their lives. Yeah, Come, totally the let's dude. talk it over. Do I look like I'm kind of a square? That's not the guy. Where's the guy? Where's the guy? There he is. Ah, you're back. Did you bring me something lovely? Ah, oh, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. All right, here we go. Till we meet again, my noble Norn. A moment of your time, Outlander? Okay, we didn't have any uh, more sodas in the fridge, so I got a Bud Light. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I just wanted something to drink that wasn't water. Oh. Okay, these are... Oh, wait, I can take that. These are not really things that I need. You know, it's not like I got a like a, a great reward for doing that, but at least I got a trophy. You know, I'm still craving. I'm wondering if I should just go with one of my friends this like coming weekend or something. I am still craving steak. I want to go to Outback. <laughs> And beauty, I would like to discuss with you. Perfect. I've been wanting it. Give me an hesitate. Just Go get the center cut sirloin, eleven ounce. Get my two sides, double fries. Get a side of mushrooms. Not mushrooms, sorry, uh, shrimp. I mean, the mushrooms are good too. But get my other little side of uh, shrimp. Uh, grilled, fried or grilled doesn't matter, but I've been uh, eating Not right. grilled shrimp more. Sounds so good. Mm. My satchel is full. Not, I don't need meat anymore. I need meat, bony meat, rich meat, fatty meat, bony meat, and tiny meat. Yummy, fresh meat from my butt. Fresh meat from my butt. For my butt. <laughs> we need to get razor heart. There we go. Now I have every. Lens and heart. Hello, Diamond Tronda One. Hey, right, what's up? What up? Oh, 
Uh, once you get to that point where you find out the truth, you actually feel the weight of their failure to stop that event. Huh. Huh, okay. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Same time, I don't know what you're talking about. But <laughs> my... <laughs> <laughs> It's spoilers without being spoilers. Spoilers, but it's not really spoilers, seeing as I've completed this game and I've completed the second game twice. But it's but it's in fact heavy spoilers. But it's a little bit spoilers. I think the story. Okay, the story of the second game is way better than this one. Like straight up. What is your little item meter up at the top in the middle there? Um, I think that wait, what does it do if I I think it tells you when like certain things are nearby um does well, it, does I, I... it it works really weird um, in, in this one compared to so what Forbidden West does is that's actually not there. Um, it it has it has a similar thing where uh, it's a it's a yellow exclamation point and then red uh, if there's enemies nearby. So it'll, it'll be yellow if they like kind of spot you, and then it'll be red if they definitely spot you and they're after you. Um, yeah. So I thought that's kind of what it was because that's sort of what it is, but <clears throat> like it's not really because. If I move it in certain directions, it'll wait. It looks like a detection thing because there are little uh, sound wave looking things that go around it. So yeah, I think it's like I a detection. Stop, almost, but I think that don't wait. That only happens when I start moving. If I stop moving, it, it means anyone around you can hear you and see you. I, I think is what that means. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's it's probably that's probably what it is. I just okay. realized. Uh, I don't. The only reason I don't like Meridian is because I can never find a way out of here. <laughs> Jump off a way you can't. <laughs> Spare a moment to speak of the finer things. There's a campfire at least. There we go. Finally, now we get here. Take a nice picture. Do Pohoto mode. Commemorate my victory. Take a picture of the random NPC. <laughs> That's really hard to do. That'd be really funny. Looking around all clueless and you're like posing going like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you can't oh, oh that's right you can't move around because i'm in a 
Not a settlement, so let me move around. Oh shit! Whoa! In the, the water. drink make me cold. Also, how much longer were you gonna go for? Uh, I was actually just gonna save. We'll oh, okay. Later. <sighs> I'm hungry. I don't know what I, I don't know what I have. Could have more burgers, but I've already had two, so that'd be kind of a lot. I was supposed to have my hot dogs, like I said I was going to. How come the little dangly things on you always move around when you uh, switch between poses? Because it happens in a bunch of other games, too. I don't know. This is very strange. I can't really do a lot of facial expressions. Some of her expressions look like she's going to like pass out or barf. <laughs> yeah. You should cycle through them really fast. That'd be really funny. <laughs> She's like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. like all the all the poses are the same as in, in last as well, but uh, the there's a lot more expressions to choose from. Camera controls not available. The way you <laughs> is it wrong of me to say that the the that rapid pace in which you uh <laughs> in which uh uh it tweens through poses the way the animations work it, it's very reminiscent of <laughs> of of the cutscenes in slide two and three. Uh, you know what? That's exactly what it looks like, actually. <laughs> and I hate it. <laughs> that is like one hundred percent what it looks like. The, the, that animation style in those two games are so fucking weird. The first game's animations I felt were fine. I mean, the models looked very kind of early, but for it being like the first game in the series, but it, it looked fine. I don't know what those rapid bits are and uh, just the rapid little weird like ADD looking head movements or whatever in two and three. Don't want to share it, just want to screenshot it. Would you like to share your shit amongst the, the Twitter audience? Yeah, that was done a lot better on the PS5. You, you, you didn't have to go right into like taking a screenshot and end up going right into like the share by accident. Yeah. All right. All right. Better make for breakfast, dude. Yep, getting well with me. This was a fun sesh. That's where I'm gonna be ending it. See, I would play Forbidden West. I, I could technically, I could get it on my PS4. I could, but I have no room on it. 
Especially mm-hmm. since I just got Mass Effect Legendary <clears throat> Edition on it, and like that took up most of the space. <laughs> so I'd have to delete like a ton of shit if I if I want that game on it. To be able to stream it like this, I totally would. I'll just see what I what I can remove. I guess I'll think about it. Um, anyway, that is, ah, that's gonna do it for the stream. Thank you all so much for joining. And as always, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe for more casual gaming content. Subscribe. And, subscribe. And, uh, join my Discord, there's a link in the description below, and I'll see you next time. Until then, this is Miharu, signing off. Can I also say a thing real quick? Yes. Uh, two things. Hi, Joseph Johnson. Hopefully you can uh, uh, watch this back when it's uh, fully up as a video, because we're just ending, and I'm really sorry. Um, unless you were uh, just kind of lurking, which is fine. But also, uh, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard, I will be finishing up Spark 3 reignited 117%. So hopefully you guys will uh, join in for that. Yes. Everybody join for that. Yeah. Bye-bye.